Good morning, good morning. Magadan po, magadan po. Good morning, good morning. How is everyone? Trying to get myself together and just got my coffee, guys. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, I see Sarah in the house, Scott. Sarah says, hello, Heidi, praying for George. I saw him limping in the ride about, yeah. Um, he injured that same foot in Mexico and it kind of put him down for a while where he couldn't move at all. He was moving and, huh. I think Bella is outside, guys. One second. I think when George fed the cats yesterday oh my god he left her outside all night because usually we feed the cats after live one second guys i gotta pop up out of here which i'm i'm stuck behind a bunch of equipment i can't leave her out there any longer she's probably thirsty guys one second yeah he fed the cats last night here i believe that's bella no, it's Felix. Is that you? Oh, that's you. There's your friend. There's your friend. Oh, you left Bella. That's Felix, guys. And it's hard because I've got all this equipment like pressed right against here. Okay. Wrong cat, guys. Wrong actual cat. It looked like Bella right outside the window. I haven't seen her all morning. And George is actually in bed, guys. So, yes, it's a reoccurring injury. And probably we'll have to see about taking him in today and getting an x-ray because... Well, let me go in, Sarah. Good morning. I see Ted in the house. Hello, George and Heidi and Sarah. He should be listening. And I will have to get used to this, guys. So I wonder if you can just go down. I guess not. Sup, just a bill. Ted is in the house. Hello, Scott and you beautiful people. And again, guys, I will go through here. Um, you'll probably find, well, I'll just go back and forth and answer questions and talk about our topic because today she's not that into you actually came about because um, I was watching some of Calvin's live the other day and a few other lives and plus talking to people and reading articles on Facebook. It's brought me around to just because you come here and you're looking to date a woman, some of these guys are arriving here and it's real. It's like real. They end up going home empty handed. And a lot of these Filipinas are not the same Filipinas pre pandemic. I mean, it's been a couple of years. Some of these girls are coming of what I call coming of age. Most of them are dating online. And then the others are highly educated and go to some of these upper class places and they're looking for specific men or Filipino men or whichever. And so a lot of them think, which is most of the time true when you come here, you're an instant celebrity. So when you come here and you're an instant celebrity, it doesn't always mean you're going to get the chicks. You're going to get the attention. Um, like if you're in a restaurant, usually they try to serve you first or whatever places you go to, but maybe she's not that into you. A lot of guys, Think, or women, they hit here and bam, you know, but that photo that we generated is pretty much talent. She's either going to be into you or she's not. Um, and what's that rash and bump you have? It is prickly heat season. Guys, it is time to, I say man up because the weather here is getting ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And let, 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 
da, da, da. We'll be talking about um, everything. We'll be talking about the plague today. Uh, that's why George isn't here today because he's got the blue bonnet plague. Actually, I blamed it on Bella. I said, Bella, I said it wasn't them fleas back in the day that started the plague. It was you and your whole greasy generation of fleas that caused the plague. And the cat just looked up at me like, what the hell? So, <laughs> so yes, George has the bubonic plague or something that he caught on Walking Street. And that's why he's not here today. I see where Scott says hello to Ted. Um, I might just go through and read your guys' stuff out loud versus putting it up again. It's just me operating and I'm not used to being the one that does this. Um, Racer X is in the house. Morning H and G. Sabu in the house. Hi peeps. Um, <laughs> let me check something out. And I don't think he does. He doesn't even have the phone where he's in bed. So I can't even, let me try something here, guys. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. We're trying to fill the room up. I'm checking to see if I can message George. Isn't that weird? We're in the same house. He's here. He managed, he's, um, we have a second room set up stairs with AC. Probably easier to yell at him. Hey, George. Are you watching? Okay. <laughs> I guess he doesn't care that much for his wife. I'm all alone. I'm a free bird, guys. <laughs> Still looking for a husband. <laughs> George said he won't marry me. All right, guys. But good morning, Racer X. I'm sitting here playing with my coin, drinking my coffee. I don't know why. Jack says, hello, Heidi. I'm praying for George is okay. Racer X, we hope a quick recovery. Yeah, I just took him some stuff. Actually, on the other hand, not to deflect from George's situation, I've been able to go a lot more up and down the stairs. I try not to, um, like, probably going to more. Kiki's in the house. I think George should give up running those marathon races. Yeah, running from the ladies in town. George is like a real ladies man. When we say she's not that into you, the ladies like George. George is a ladies man here and in the United States. When I met George, he had like a slew of women. One, hey, George, was that girl Japanese or Chinese? The, the rich one. The mafia one? <laughs> No, not the Mafia Princess. Babe, you need to use your other phone to chime in. But, yeah, he's um, he was like, I'm telling you, and the, the single mothers, think about it. George was like perfect. He loves animals. He loves cats to almost a creepy point, guys. And that was some of the reasons, like, we hooked up. I didn't have any kids. Mine were grown. But they, you know, George is a real good guy. But as far as looks, he was exotic than everything else in the United States. And here, to me and to most, he looks more like an OFW, the way he dresses. And he's a ladies' man, but we have to take him off the market. But, yes, he's got to stop chasing those women, that's for sure. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Uh, tell George that I got my ticket to fly to Manila in a bus to SM Clark. That's great, Kiki. Um, we That brawl challenge is funny. I told George to go get one of my um, D-cup brawls and put that sucker on and joke around to do it. He'll probably put a short out. But uh, guys, check out Kiki in the Philippines. Um, look, Kiki, every day, I don't know if you've seen last time, I use one of those coin machines that clean jewelry. I bought it before I left the United States. 
and I didn't want to clean it too much. I used just a little bit of um, baking soda, no soap or nothing. And it took 98% of the 98% of the um, grime off of it. And one second. Let's see. Baby, you shouldn't be walking around. Ah, here it comes, guys. Baby, I was trying to do this so you can lay down and rest. He's here, guys. Babe. I look at your hair from laying down. Hey guys, look who's here. Well, you, uh, I don't need you anymore. Just because you heard me say all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. You should have put a ring on it. The ring on it. All right, here's George. Come to ruin my party. Oh. <gasps> We don't mention it. Okay. There's another um, sick family member that we have, guys, so we can't say. So George is like double hit. Wow, baby. Just because you show me that photo doesn't mean I'm still going to marry you. And don't cry. I know, baby. It's okay. Yeah. Family members back in the U.S. are not doing well. They're in the hospital, too. On top. So George, poor George is double hit. Don't make me cry on air. So, uh, yeah. And what's with the email from our friend? Did you see it? Did you read it? You no. Didn't? No. I didn't open it up. That's your email. Yeah, you have to go in there. It's Where weird. It? You have to click on each one. They put all of them. Seriously? That's his mom? Yeah. Looks like yours. I know. That's what he said. Aw. Did you tell we're, him? We're talking about Mike, guys. I mean. So, might. same thing? Did you let him know you're going through it, too? Yeah, of course. Of course. Wow. Well, why don't you give him our number for the... She, she'll be out in a couple. So. Yeah, guys, it's it's been a, a tough week for us and everything. But here he is, guys. Uh, he was <laughs> upstairs, and when he was talking about you, Kiki, he came down. Say hi to Kiki, babe. Um, I've been using this. Both Kikis. No, uh, oh, Kiki in the Philippines and Kiki and Jasmine in the Philippines. I don't know if I haven't gone that far down. Yeah, yeah, both Kikis. Yeah. Are they both here? Yeah. Hey, Remy. Hi from yeah. Chesapeake Bay. Your Kiki and their Kiki. Oh, uh, one Kiki is not. Here. I was just curious where he's actually going to move to. So, um, hello, Heidi, and all. Hope George feels good soon. I hope he does too. Um, I haven't seen him. Yeah. What? Hey, good day, Ruby. Beautiful, Ruby. Good morning. Um, I didn't make you any coffee. Here, I made you some coffee. What the heck is that? Here, drink. That's not coffee. I know, but here. I don't even know what that is. Go ahead. I think it's saying hi to me. It, pro it probably is, but here, drink. No, that's not a drink. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. No, you, really? You, yeah, go ahead. No, I don't like it. Well, um, I make a keto coffee, guys, besides my regular coffee. I put the coconut oil in and uh, the the butter thing. It helps with my stomach and helps. So, you know, one of my... Yes, there is Kiki. Oh, yeah. Right there at Kiki. Kikis. Yeah, I'm at that Kiki. Kikis are in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Kiki here and Kiki there. Well, I, that's how I say it. Your hair. Because he's still in. Oh, my God. Look at this, babe. Yeah. If you look at this, it looks like I've got no clothes on. Yeah. Our Kiki and the um, sister's mountaineer Kiki. It does, doesn't it? Oh, my God. It does, Scott. doesn't it? Oh, my God, Scott. You told him not to lick the window at the mall, but no, no right? That's what's wrong with him now. No, I said you were upstairs. It. I told him you were upstairs with a bubonic plague. And then I said it was BB 
the cat. I said it was her and her whole greasy generation that brought them fleas, not the rats that caused the bubonic plague. And here she is with right. her little mites that Bella's been plagued. That's one thing that some of the animals are plagued here with is the fleas and the mites. And you've seen a show you guys on the street where the mites actually existed. And the the mites are not a joke. You'll see animals here, babe, mange where they have like no no hair whatsoever. It's really sad. But BB was missing all the top of her head when we got her with like a little hole in her head. And now she's starting to get a small spot and she gets it near her ears. And then we use a special um uh cocoa, it's coconut um mix that they make. It's like a like a sab that we put on now. We started using the neem oil, which we'll get around to. I want to make sure that, oh, see, that's why I didn't do it over the. Why is it leaking? It, I think it's coming from the lid. At least I hope it is. That's why I didn't put it near the coffee. But I think. Well, it won't hurt you. It's got citronella in it, too. Oh, that will. But yeah. Well, I um, doubt it. But it's it's a diluted neem oil, which you can put on plants, animals, and it even had it WebMD in a couple other places to talk about it. But yeah, I make a joke about her and her mites. Probably what, probably what killed off the, the, oh. who is Alexander the Great with? My mind's gone blank. Cleopatra. Talk about his army, Italian. Huh? What type of army did he have? Today I've gone blank. Don't mess with my delusions that are in my head. And Alexander was Roman. Yes, thank you. Roman. Bella's mites killed the Roman army. That's all um, I wanted to say. Probably did. They probably got crotch critters and everything else. Weren't they like that Solomon Gomorrah all over the... So and talk, then the mites got to him because they were naked all the time. Bumps and crotch critters. Next on Philippine Antics. Well, you know about crotch critters. Actually, I ah, get her out, get her out, get her. <laughs> oh my God, guys! Thanks, George. I'm gonna drink my keto coffee here. It's not my fault. Your rat cat sleeps between my legs. You sleep between my legs. She sleeps between your legs, and we all got crotch critters. Anyway. I suppose, I suppose the moderators caught that one, huh? Kiki in the Philippines, rash and bones. Hmm, must be very hot in Walking Street. It is. Yeah, it's a different say, kind of heat. <laughs> go down and say, excuse me, can I uh, see your rash today? Right, rash and spectrum. Oh, can I see your rash today? Can I see your rash today? And like, I don't have a rash. Oh, please, I know you got a rash somewhere. Rash <laughs> specter, huh? Yeah. It's probably true. That's a joke, but it, minimally they've got heat rash, which is really severe. Even the Philippine Red Cross has put out information in regards to the heat rashes. So, yeah, what do they call it? Ho ho rash, Ho Chi Minh rash. She's just kidding, guys. It's, I don't it's know. It's actually George Steve, rash. Steve Johnson's favorite um, word for it, for it: prickly heat. Prickly heat, yeah. Prickly heat. I call you at least that several times a day. Yeah, and then um, he, isn't there like a specific baby powder for that? A prickly heat baby powder? There is, but I tried it when I first got here. That's all I had under my armpits, across my chest, everywhere under my breast. It was bad. Ask George. I was blaming him for everything. And... First diagnosis, like, oh, you got mites or you got this and that. And oh, you got, yeah, look at my sensitive skin. It's, it's prickly heat. It's, it's heat rash. And it was like, there was this powder that's a cooling prickly heat powder, right? What happened? It actually burns actually. It, it, and it wasn't even open. It was just a rash um, with the menthol in it or something. It didn't work for me. So I just use regular baby powder and we have other things. So yeah, to show you guys later. Yeah. Ruby, hope George recovers soon for whatever bug he's got. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I blame your cat again. Carrie Lalon, hurry, get George the Katinko bomb. It cures everything. 
probably that one stuff that is common in the um, i know what she's talking about actually, yeah actually i forgot we have a mixed vapor rub in the house i guess we could they did say put that on you probably could put that on your foot right. where the swelling is and where it hurts it yeah actually technically it would help well you've even got the baby one with the lavender and the menthol in it yeah i don't get the baby one guys well it was meant for babies uh, the only reason i got it was to actually put here on my chest because the other stuff's kind of with the allergy season it gets here may 12th hey alan how are you doing alan buner good morning from tabuk kalina stay safe healthy Hope those fleas don't create diseases. Unfortunately, I got information you probably don't want to hear later, Alan, but stick around because part of this is dedicated to Alan. Alan, sorry about your rash. <laughs> it's not like that. It's no, it's not. It's, I, I think I think Alan, um, we, not to put you on the spot, I think it I think you're dealing with the prickly heat. And I did have photos. I tried to put together a presentation, but I made George a full breakfast this morning of grits and bacon and ham and poached eggs and whole wheat toast along with gravy to put over the top of it. Did you eat all that? Where was it? You missed it? Yeah, I missed it. Oh. <laughs> so, but, but anyway, guys, again, um, some of you will encounter this rash. I, I put quote on it because it's, it, do, it doesn't look like any rash you've probably ever seen, um, just so you guys know. But some of you will, some of you won't. Yeah, see, there it is. Ru Ruby says, don't forget that the Vicks Vapor Rub. We, there that's it is. the first thing that we actually got, that's for sure. Glenn B, thought, Heidi, thoughts and prayers for just Oh, thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you. Love that dog. Yeah, Remy <laughs> Smith also. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, licking the window. Racer X, been three years LDR, finally got here three weeks ago, and everything's going well. Start chatting and date on the dating app. Well, ah, okay, I see what he's getting at. Yeah, yes. I mean, really, here's the crazy part. You can find a diamond in the rough online, and we recommend Christian Filipina. Um, I'm not going to throw up a bunch of advertisements for it, although we have an affiliate marketing with them. Um, do a plug, babe. Say, find your chicks on Christian Filipina. Anyways, it is a good app because they, they're supposed to vet both sides. And I'll say that, that they, you know, you, they show ID and everything. But on the apps, you can find a diamond in the rough. That's for sure. But as we always said, you're going to find the women, the women. I hate to agree with a, a couple of people, but usually the good ones aren't on the apps. Would you agree or disagree with that? I disagree. I know some people say that. I said diamond in the rough. There are some on there, there are, but there are more. Some on there. Like, but instance, meeting the ones in person usually will find their person in person. They stay off the apps. Well. Here's it does thing. breed desperation and scams and all that. I mean, maybe it's better all the way around. So it's to me, it's a it's a you guys know it's a hit miss. You well, all been on Tinder and a bunch of those here, other dating the apps. The app, and again, put it this way is some of the people I've met on the these dating apps, you they're kind of unapproachable. Dating apps. No, 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 no. If it wasn't for the dating app oh, in real life. Yeah, that's an that's you, I never at. thought of it that way. Yeah, because you may see somebody right. and be like, way she's way too above or he's way right. for instance, a mafia lady. Um, there's this Chinese lady I met and um she was okay. I mean, she's you know, oriental, she looks oriental, she looks I, I hate to say it, you get any oriental woman that's, that's not the one like. that called you in the middle of the night and said come get my kid no that's a japanese one but anyway oh my god here's the thing that's what to happen if i met her in real life which you know what i mean like if i met her like me walking around and then meet her i would never ever talk to the lady period you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but the app allows me to talk to her and she allows other people to approach her because in real life she's unapproachable because she's a mafia type hmm. you know yeah she has like you know a bodyguard 
really. Um, and then she dresses like. Like, but the pandemic, this was pre-pandemic pre too, and right. that would have been pre-me. So right. it's a new game now, guys. Right. It, it surely is. So, hey, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy, hit that like button, you all. Thank you. Sarah Tyson, practice for when you really fire him. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. I would be on the look. Yeah, look no, sees not so far. It's, it's on the neutral yet. Yeah. yeah. Just a bill. It's just a bill. Um, wait. I'm just a I know bill. always time when you read your name. Um, wait. Schoolhouse Rock. I always. I never really remember <laughs> He's it. He's a ladies' man that that picked up a disease of Fulton Street. Oh man. Well, yeah. okay. Full disclosure. I. I. I'm not that kind of guy. I can go and talk to any girl or man and, you know, and get along with everybody and go out on dates and whatever. But guess what? I'm not looking for Panani. I'm not thirsty. I, I let you know. Yeah, I'm not. She'll let me you. tell you what. No, he's not. He's not. And when I met George and... I approached George in a 7-Eleven because he was fueling up his multi-fleet cars to go out on jobs and work and with his employees. And it was like, well, I know you, the butter, it's the coconut oil, babe. I know it's really rich, isn't it? Really rich, isn't it? <laughs> and then um, I was like, you know, I gave him my number. We talked, but he was like real super nice to the, the cashier and his employees. I'm like, I said, wait a minute. This guy's really sweet. Remember, I already told your secret. Here, give me my secret. Heidi, Heidi almost killed me when I'm hugging on the cashiers. Oh, my God. That was Halloween. That was way after <laughs> we was dating. You, to randomly go up and hug on people during Halloween that I've never seen. But um so that's how we met i seen how super nice he was and i gave him my number and i had been single for i don't know about a week and <laughs> and i was like hey and then that's how that kind of worked out so um and then after we started dating george was the most he didn't kiss me forever he didn't put out forever and I don't know. You was, but you were respectable. You were one of the respectable guys. Every guy that I dated within, sometimes within the first date actually had their hands on me, like yeah. friends that would set you up kind of situations. And it didn't matter what I looked like I or age. Or, like it, man. Yeah. Like but, um, and again, the only reason why this is being brought up is because it's actually part of the topic because most of the Filipinos or Filipinas you'll deal with, they have my attitude. Yeah, it is. They're real, they want to date they and i do find which is refreshing is that they're super nice and you can meet a girl in one week and some people are engaged in a few weeks or a week or three months or four months i just want to mention a story i can't say who they are so we don't get too political but there was a big famous couple they were engaged and married in three weeks they were up there in the government sector and they met in person, thought how nice they were. They both had a bunch in common and their relationship moved like a whirlwind. And I've seen a lot of relationships here in the Philippines. People have come and they had LDRs overseas where they talked a little bit, got in person. Then when they clicked, they got married. There's been some that come over here, meet a girl in the mall, meet a girl at an event and they click. Same thing. They'll marry before they even go home, go home, sell everything and come back. It's, it happens. But what's blowing my mind, though, is there's some guys that come over here and they're they either don't intend on meeting a woman and then end up getting married or there are guys that come over here with intentions of meeting and they never there was never a hookup, never. They just didn't do anything. But don't feel pressure that you have to go down a walking street and hook up with a bar girl. Don't feel pressure that you have to start dating somebody that's not you know, who you really wanted to, because there are a lot of fish in the sea. Just remember that, George. Well, actually, first off, don't be thirsty. No, really, first rule, don't be thirsty, because um, men and women can smell that. And it's a turnoff. Yeah. Um, 
Are we going to go into top of the um, let's go through and answer some of that before we get into that. So we'll we'll get more into that. And like I said, I think we will cover probably the first and first. You know, she's not that into you. And uh, yeah, we have um, <laughs> relationships and rashes. <laughs> we just should have called R and R and just left it that. I know. But right, this really is not clickbait. She's not that into you. No, no. She and again, it's not what you think. Um, and that's the problem that most expats face. Um, Tammy J. Hi, Heidi. Good morning, Tammy. Scott in the world as I see it. Tarnish. Hey, kid, I was <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's not mange. They're hypoallergenic. Ooh, I like that one. Hypoallergenic. I don't know about that. Just a meal. I was <laughs> that was Greek. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Greek. So he's Greek from Macedonia. Thank you, just But he, his army was, wasn't it the, not the Greek army? It was no, a Roman. No, it's Macedonian. Macedonian. Yes. Yeah. My I, mind just went. Obviously, Bloo -bloo. I failed my Roman history. I mean, Greek history. There's a lot of movies and shows and all that, but it's, I don't have that much space in my head, guys. And especially, it's just been foggy here lately. Yeah. Call it the old brain. Yeah. It up, yeah, where's where's Beavis and Butthead? Right here. Blue ointment. Right um, here. Uh, hey, hey, Beavis. Oh, that's that that um that ointment earlier. Hey, Beavis. Perhaps what? Just say okay, Butthead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the great Cornelio. I am the great Cornelio. Get me for my mama. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks, Gogo. Go, um, go, go Bobo's sister, huh? Yeah. White Freeman, the gold. Oh, that's a different one. Gold Bond powder burns like. Oh my gosh, Gold Bond. You ever try that one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have the Gold Bond. You have the Tiger Bond. Well, here's the thing. Until I got to the Philippines, even with me being a big girl, I never used any powder ever in Florida, the United States, nowhere. You've never seen me. We were together for a few years before we got here. Did I ever put any powder on? Because no, no, not the powder. We have Bengay, the ointment, but not the powder. <laughs> oh well yeah the actual yeah, yeah, ointment, yeah, ointment because of my migraines i'd rub it on the back of my neck or um, my forehead ointment, yeah powder, because yeah. of us how we were working all the time i think yeah i agree with that but never any of the powders yeah. so you see the, surprise the powder is good when you're upset with your um your mate and then you go to their underwear and you sprinkle a little bit in the private area and then you put it back in their clean clothes why? Because you think that stuff is going to burn somebody's crotch? Once they start sweating, yes. Oh, burn. Exactly. Oh, great. I just gave her an idea. Not anyway. an idea. That's why you've been burning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, you, said or you can get their, their deodorant, top off the deodorant, and it replace it with cottage cheese and smooth it out. Dude, I thought you were there. sick. This is just the Heidi or show today. You get their shampoo, dump out their shampoo, and put nair in it. That's old stuff. That's that's old thinking. Oh, sorry. I have to AI generate something. New. Yes. Okay. Ask AI how to. Never mind. I almost said it. <laughs> oh, we don't no. want to say T O R T E. I didn't want to spell it out either. But go on, babe. Anyway, um, <laughs> torture. She's not that into you. Oh, you ain't? Let me get some revenge. That's not torture. That's SNM. You wish. Keep on dreaming, Beavis. You got to see Heidi's crop. That didn't sound right. But anyway, um, Kiki and Jasmine and the Trail of Love. That's what happened to your foot. Right? <laughs> Here's... Things went wrong. <laughs> Things went south in the swing. <laughs> oh, my God, the swing. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a different story. That's, you were swinging around and banged your foot on the wall. Oh my god, <laughs> anyway. No, Scott tries to pee your pants, man. Oh god, they got me crying. That's hilarious. Here's oh an old god. Irish curve for leg pain mustard, uh, rub mustard on the inflamed. I've heard of that. No, yeah. I've heard of that. No, mustard I, can be used for a lot of things. Actually, things. actually mm. I'm a big mustard fan all the way around. Over ketchup, mayo, or anything else, I'll put mustard on everything. That's got to be the German in me. What's in here? Extra. What's the extra? No, it's just the coffee, the butter. It's real butter. 
It's butter, coconut oil. It's keto coffee. So. Mm -hmm. You had a kick at first, but after that. I'm... No, it's because you got to get used to the. Um, well, it's got the vanilla creamer in it and stuff. So it's got more vanilla. So maybe it's the. Yeah. Mark Goldberg, George can make you some chest cream. There you go. He doesn't want to make the oh, chest cream. Wait a he minute. wants to put it on. Uh, yeah, I see what he's getting. He at. wants to put it on. Now, babe. <laughs> chest cream no i no i got that i got that but you don't have any so you better buy some you better you better Dor you better call on dorothy dunning um hello heidi and george and george hope you feel better thank you so much i hope he does too when he arrives right i'm very traditional and too old-fashioned for dating apps okay well i would say that but you know we've seen people in their 70s he, he, viewing well first off you really don't you in dating it. apps you no, you really don't. Usually your hookups and marriages and all that here in the Philippines are going to come from simple meetings. Like we go out to lunch with a friend. Usually it's within the family of a friend. Yes. Usually when you land here, um, they'll kind of push the family members that are single. Right. Towards you. Not mm -hmm. really. They will. It's usually families that do the, yeah. you the should see the matching and stuff. Yeah. Whenever I go to an area, they look at me like, are you single? I'm like, no. And then they're like, he breaks a lot of men and women's heart all over the Philippines. I was telling him what kind of ladies man you are here. None. So just get that out of your mind. I'm taken. You're still single. That's what you said yesterday. No, that's not what I said. No, you said that you wouldn't dare marry me a second time. That way you said. Huh? Yes. I didn't sure. say that. No, really, I didn't say that. You know I did. Are you going to marry me? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just joking, about. guys. It's a joke. I'm still single. Yes. All right. Remy Smith. All right. Who do you think could get a marriage proposal quicker? You, you want a girl you and will. me? Uh, probably, even looking like this, somebody. You'll probably marry the donut man. <laughs> Are you Ariel the donut man? I ought to. And then I had to put a webcam on me and do that, like that movie where that girl just got bigger and bigger and oh bigger and gosh, bigger. That was, so crazy, saw, okay, guys, that was a crazy. That was a crazy movie. He mentioned the donut, man. Feed, but oh that, my God. That's not what I was getting at. Don't watch the movie if oh you're into kind of God. gross stuff. Well, it's, it's a, a realistic movie, movie it's a, it's a and this movie, has really gross, happened. So. Yeah. So basically, the guy. The girl is in love with the guy. The guy says he's in love with the girl, but he just feeds her to death, li literally. Yeah, the, the, the uh, so yeah. anyways, feed. Yeah. yeah, it's called feed. Oh, my God, it's yeah. crazy. It's it's fairly... Oh, it's you watching King Solomon's Mines? Mind your business, Wait, man. you got to see Patrick Swayze? Yes. I'm like... Because Heidi watches movies with headsets on, oh, so all I see is this movie yeah. going on. And, and he I'm just like, sees me like this, rocking out in the like, bed. That's Patrick Swayze, and I'm like, "That's King Solomon's mind." Yeah, mind your mind your beeswax. You yeah. was over here gaming and and working on stuff. Tas, where are the best new? Ah, <laughs> uh, did you put that up? Oh Jamie. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Jamie, Jamie dialed the wrong number. That's how we meet. meet. Landlines. Oh yeah. my gosh, phone. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh my gosh! The you, hookups. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's 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 insane. Man, that's old school. And yes, the wrong number sometimes is the best number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but here's the thing: when you when you miss dial on a landline back then, it's usually in the area. Or like a meetup, like how we did at the store. I used to work at an Amco, two different gas stations, like throughout my work history and stuff. And I worked one almost two years, and. You'd be surprised who would come in at 10, 11 o'clock or the early a.m. people that come in at 5, 6, or 7 because they used to work different shifts. And it's amazing how they'll sit there and talk to you for like 30, 40 minutes. Oh, so yeah. it's, yeah, yeah that's kind of like where hookups happen all the time. Yeah, right? around, actually, actually around 3 after the bars close, yeah. Go back in the deep freezer area where the beer is and back there where the stock is and you just set up them beer cases just right and then bam well actually if you want to know the most common hookup area is behind the screen in the theaters that's probably what happened to you 
No. My baby's a hoe. No, trust me, I'm I got accused of a lot of things, but I never did any of that. Okay. <laughs> um, you're right. <laughs> um, TS. Oh yeah, sorry. Ruby. FYI, my daughter's partner is Macedonian. Oh, okay, cool. And hates being referred to Greek because he believes he's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> White Freeman. Up your game, George. Put the undies in the dryer with some fire. Oh, my God. Right? Wow. That's some next level crap there. <laughs> That's horrible. Fiberglass, my man. That's yeah. Scott, you and I should be ashamed. We didn't think about that. Yeah. Now, the reason why is because you usually use fiberglass to to line, to, to build the, um, basically to, um, I guess, create the skin for the boat, usually. So, man, why didn't I think about that? Yeah. Um, just to build, sorry, just to know. Yeah, my brother's wife's family is Macedonian. Oh, cool. That's apparently very common. Who's that? Oh, nice. Um, well, you... You want to answer it? Yeah, you, why don't you answer it? Here, well, I can't pronounce them. Half of them. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, the nude beaches, they have them. A lot of those are isolated islands. We had it in one of our videos here in the last month or two, but usually you have to be taken out to the private islands for those to happen. Nahabuang Beach. Sultan Batanis. Oh. Um, Mahabang Buhangin, Kalagas Island. There are several of them, Taz. I, I like that beach. Mahabang Buhangin, which uh, it means long wind. The other one means open beach. Uh, mm -hmm. But most in all of those, it's not going to be on. You're not going to ride up on a trike and jump out. They are isolated I for like that this reason. One. It says, Dinago Cove, Camarillas, Camarillas, sort of the hidden cove. I like that one. Yeah, that's the one you're really, yeah. really going to need a boat boat for. Beat the Old Beach, Palombaras Island. Okay, that's just the name. Um, Maril Lama Beach, Virak Katanduanes, um, Sumilton, Oslob Cebu. This stops scrolling when that's up. Oh, it does? I don't know, but I don't know why it's not there. I had it. No, it wasn't scrolling. It looks like it wasn't. Okay, so Did I you... had it and it was working in the beginning. So I don't know why it went away. Because, I don't know, is it is it, this one, is it set up? Yes. You want it up? Yes, it was up. I don't know Seriously? Why. That's the way. Oh, you're talking about feel. Okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Some of those names are cool. Some of them are. I cool. would rather not put the humidity up and just put exactly what it feels like. It feels like 103? Well, I wouldn't know. I, I stay in the AC all the time right now. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So there are a lot of beaches. Just, I mean, okay, that's another thing. I mean, guys, when you come here, just be yourself and relax. I mean, if you have to pay for the AC, pay for the AC. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, give yourself some time. Yeah, it's hot. Remy Smith, Lola, grandma, used turmeric Tumor. extract and lime powder on rash when I was little. I've heard of that, yes. Mm -hmm. I've never personally used it, but I've heard of it. Uh, Ronald H. I'm wondering how the weather in the Philippines for oh actually arthritis and joint pain is arthritis pain better same before compared to being in the cold climate yes I would say much better than being in the cold climate but there is a slight issue that I have sometimes when it gets near rainy weather or certain bear, uh, berry uh, barometric bear. pressure then me and George both notice it We're but like, uh, since I cut out on the sugar and I've been losing a few pounds a week, it seems like everything's getting better and better for me. So things are improving. I've been getting around more. What are you looking at? You You're so gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay, so Sarah Tyson. <laughs> but it's better. It is much better to be in the warmer weather. There it I almost is. Mexico was bad. I was a right, wrong number. I like that. Yeah. I really like that, Sarah. <laughs> there you That's go. the best thing I've ever heard. I was the right, wrong number. Yeah. Katie Dallas, nudist, nude beach sound cool to me. Yeah, you have to well, actually. Katie Dallas, just letting you know, it's halfway good. <laughs> just saying, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just want to make sure that you're... <laughs> 
But I'm not a body shaming guy, but I'm just letting you know it's. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it is. It's not for me because George knows. Even when I had the bod, I mean, my bod's changed so much even since we've met. Um, you know, hormonal changes, menopause, and all that. Uh, a lot of sugary food. Not moving as much since we're not working and on the road and doing all this stuff. But even then, like I was telling George, he, he's seen photos of me, even down to a young girl, even at 12 years old and on up, I, I just wouldn't have, I've always worn proper clothes and covered my body. I've never been about being in a bikini and out there like, Ka-chow, here I am for TikTok. You know, it's not, it's never been that for me. It's just more shyness, believe it or not. Um, up to that point now, since I've been a big fluffy girl, I, I got more attitude. And um, so, but anyways, I pass. I wouldn't be like Lizzo out there on the beach trying to do my thing because you know, no, it's never well, been. Again, you have and you have to be a certain type of person, and I've never been. Yeah, you have to be for very me. It's comfortable not in your body. You have to have a lot of confidence. And well, yeah, it's, again, it's, it's, it's an experience. It's not what. Most people think it is. Yes, because it doesn't matter what type of body you have. There's a lot of people that don't care about what their body looks like, and they go out there. I'm not worried that people are going to gulk. I just can't see. Okay, for instance, let's say we hit the lottery and we had 500 million pesos right now all of a sudden. And let's say we bought an island. 500 pesos. 500 million. You're only going to get 500 pesos. But let's say that we did and we bought an island and nobody else was out there. I'm still not going to walk around on our own island naked. You probably would. Would you if it was just me and you and we built a I place there? If there's other people there. I'm, I'm, I mean, my body's not perfect, far from perfect, but I'm confident okay. enough. Okay, well, I don't think the confidence has anything to do with it, baby bear. Well, actually, it does because you have to be confident enough. You have to be. So asked. you're telling me because I'm unconfident no, 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 and no, bigger no. women or smaller women that wear clothes aren't confident? That's what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with that. You have to go past that barrier. It's 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 a different kind of barrier. It's not. Okay. No, no, it's no, no. just whether you want to or not. I think it's. I know people that aren't confident that are still nudists. I mean. Or just don't give a damn situation. Like, I don't give a damn. I mean, yes, I go up and I, I'm, I'm the, I think you're more I'm on that street. cusp. I think you're I'm more the street on the on MacArthur Highway. I think you're okay. I think you're on the cusp of I don't give a damn and you're going to do it anyways. Not that you're, anyways, that's a, the that's a good thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Sarah Tyson says, Heidi, please get George a coffee. He likes, or I will. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Um, white freedom, congrats on health improvement, Heidi. I hope everything stays on the path for you. It has we would been. all benefit from fresh, real food options. We've been we've been cooking everything fresh, trying to stay out of the packaged food. There was still some left over. I've George has been tasked with eating that. I even made my own coconut ice cream, so I had a little something sweet, and we did the I did the fresh coconut and, and yeah, so it's just real fresh cream and it's coconut, really right? It, it tastes like a but I said well, it has the bananas. I put the bananas in there too. So it's almost like pina colada. So but I told George, I said I want to give some to the kids. And what did you say? Probably not sweet enough. Not no, to give it a, okay. There's a difference between us eating it and giving it away to kids because zero sugar sugar or yeah, if they want a sugar, sweet that's not gonna fly with them. They were like, What is this? Well, yeah. So anyways, yeah, we are. Um, I am considering doing, um, getting more into the fasting. Usually we don't eat anything after seven anyways, but the more that we fast, it helps with our insulin levels. And then when we go to eat the food that we are eating, that's healthier, it's better. So we just got to. I'm fasting. I'm waiting for the kittens. Oh my God. The kitten's still not here and she is still. Uh, One to keep. Three to eat. Oh my God. Good morning, Cindy G. Let's go shrieking. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, somebody said that. Um, Cedric, hey, Cedric. Good morning, guys and gang. Packing up to go. Oh, he's, go he's going next door. Tarlock. 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 Cool. Yes. Thursday. All right, Cedric. Chosen one, hey, bro. 
Good morning. Good morning, party people. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, that, okay, that's, let's go sh streaking. We're going to go streak on MacArthur Highway. I think my sugar cravings just kicked in. Honestly, hey, I, George. Yeah. Churro waffles from Eggs and Breaky. Yeah, they were okay. <laughs> I like just, the, I'd rather have the steak. Yeah, no, the steak's yeah. better for us because, yeah, they kind of, with yeah. it, it's a joke, babe. I'm just. I know. No, 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 I know. Cindy G, good morning. Ruby says, have you guys ever walked around your house? Just not these. Oh, a friend of mine once said, when all your kid lives, then you can walk around in your undies. Well, we do. And that's been a concern about bringing in a part-time housekeeper or a live-in one because we do tend to, I have like my, what I call like the moo-moos and nighties at my, I have nighties too, but when there's nobody here and it's hotter weather, yes, we I've tended to wear them and, and sometimes with nothing underneath. It's hotter weather. <sighs> And you like to walk around in your undies too. George is like, you can't record me because my undies are showing. But you have like boxers. No one could tell if they're shorts or not. So I've had to cancel a bunch of stuff. But yes, we do on the occasion. And believe it or not, when I was nine months pregnant, did the same thing in just underwears with nothing else on. The problem is for some reason, I kept burning myself on the stove, like my stomach and everything. I was big, round and pregnant. And it was like a magnet to getting burned. Like I'd go to put a cookie sheet in to bake potatoes. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say his name. No, the, the B, Miss B. Oh, Miss B. Okay. Yeah. And it, but I was young too. It was under 18. Explains a lot. No, I'm kidding. B. No, every time I got near there to pull out whatever's in the oven, I guess I didn't calculate how pregnant I was. And yeah. And I remember those days I used to make a uh, fresh squeeze homemade juice because of the trees that were in the yard and uh, there was limes in there. And so, yeah, uh, I would. No, that's I'm just I, I have. To I didn't that complete any of those. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, I was just going to. Okay, so, OK, in all seriousness, um, again. First off, here's the issue. That most of you will face. Filipinos in general are very friendly. Okay. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Filipinos in general are very friendly. And what? Pay attention to their ring finger. No, seriously. Before you even have oh, any man. thoughts in your head, look at their ring finger. See if they're engaged or married. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, maybe, you know. I know I joke around whenever I'm out with Heidi. I said, go ask him the question. Go ask him the question. Which means, do you have a boyfriend or a And sometimes he'll just say, ask. And he really means for me to ask about, you know, something to order. And I'll still say that to whoever's standing there. Right. <laughs> so, again, it's, it's it's an inside joke. And, again, Filipinos don't mind to answer. It's like, so what if they ask? You know what I'm saying? So, pay attention to the ring finger. Now... Honestly, here's the thing, and you have to watch out for the most attractive and most friendliest Filipinos you meet out there will have a ring on their ring finger. And the reason why you already know is because they are attractive and friendly, which means they get all the attention all day. But it's not because, you know, they're S-L-U-T-S. -S. It's not because of that. Um, it's because it's just their nature, kind of like me. I, I'll talk to anybody, you know what I mean? And I'll hug anybody, no big deal. But again, that's because it's their nature. So the problem you'll face, again, you'll go walking around and the friendliest people and most kind of like you think they're into you, again. AKA clerks at the grocery store, restaurants, all that. They're going to be double nice. U.S. and other European countries, you get a little bit of attitude. You can kind of tell situations. But I have found here, no matter hotels, restaurants, any place of service in general, including the street vendors, yes, they're super friendly. I would actually, if you blindfolded me I, and then, you know, put me here, which I would know I was here, I would be thinking that these guys are actually coming on to me. That's how super friendly they are. So the same women if these guys are in the u.s doing the same thing that would mean they're trying to it's a it's a weird 
yes, it's it's again, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like the more taken they are, the friendlier they are. But not that's only because that's their personality. Right. Now the ones that are usually not taken are the ones that just do their job, just shut up, and just do what the, you know you ask them to. Okay, here, here's my stuff. Ring me up, you know, and then they'll just, and then it'll be you know three thousand no. pesos or whatever. And those are the ones you'll notice won't have a ring finger, just so you know. Um, a ring on their finger, rather. So, again, only because their people are friendly, don't think that they are into you. Okay? What? You're getting the stare. You want me to take her out? No, it's, I'll get her so you don't have to get up. Okay, so. Now, how are you going to get somebody that <laughs> is into you? Yeah. Well... They're there, um, but again, you know how I do it. How do you do it? I play hard to get. Actually, that works. Just sit there in the mall and drink your coffee and just kind of, you know, just you know, do you, and they will come to you. Actually, it does work. Actually, although I found it hard to talk to that girl at the mall. Uh, remember when we went to the NBI and we were at Robinson's mall, there was a girl that was typing on her laptop and I kept wanting to talk to her, but the right moment didn't like come around. And I was just wanting to just talk with her in general, but I have found here that sometimes as expats were kind of unapproachable, they'll do the staring thing, but I think I'm also finding, remember the girls shy away from me every time we go to a well, business there. They don't. Nay, you're afraid to speak English. Yeah. So okay. Now, remember what Heidi says about the girl? She never found the right moment. Yeah. Here's a tip. Oh, boy. Nobody wants your tip, George, but go ahead. All right. There's never a right moment. That is true. That was kind of like me. I A lot of times I'm braver than that's how I actually met George because... I didn't know if any of your employees were your girlfriend or wife. I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, Some of them are pretty. And that's that's pretty much you have how. To go for the casting couch. That's true. I know that's what I'm you did in the office. He had an office on kidding. where he had his house and swimming pool out front. He had an actual office out front of the house itself, and that's probably what happened in there. You Clean. and your ex-wife. Clean pipes. Anyway, no, seriously. You were um, <laughs> Um, no, seriously, um, there's never a, a right moment, guys and girls. Remember, there's never a right moment, and no, then there's not. Remember, so you just have to ask. It's and I'm talking to you guys, guys and girls. Again, I'm talking to you women too. Real quick, I want to say that a lot of guys have come from the Western mentality of dating women in the Western world where they're just nasty these days, or high expectations, or just ridiculous, or attitudes, or whatever's been going on. Now, I ain't going to say you guys are clean, you know, guys got their issues too. So the dating world is really effed up right now. Seriously. So that mentality is hard to carry over when you get here, when people are extra friendly, but remember, you know, you still have to have that respect and respect to their culture. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm thinking about that right now that, sorry, that I've, Cause it kind of went along with what you said that no, people no, no, no. it's really hard for them to approach at this point because of how women have been or they're getting out of a bad marriage or, you know, I call it repressed all those years or thinking they didn't have it to date the people, the women here want to date you. They want relationships. They want kids. Um, some of the, some of the best vloggers, uh, pumpkin Joe has a beautiful family. Um, hey, uh, Philo in the Philippines. Look at Philo. his life. He, you know, it, it, it's all doable, but it's in how you approach it and everything and where you, you date and how you actually do. So I just want to throw that in that, you know, it is all doable and everything. Sunshine shoulders, beautiful family. Um, Hey, Calvin. Yeah. So it's a, uh, yeah, no, no. Okay. Again, um, man, male or female, even you women here again, it's okay. Even if you're a woman, to approach a guy it's no big deal really it's not okay get over the oh only guys you know ask men out i mean only guys ask girls out or you know or whatever point is if you're interested you're interested if if they're not oh well move on okay um there is a lot of fish in the sea especially here in the philippines now again but here's the thing again 
when you approach people or rather when you approach Filipinos, be aware of the words they say. For instance, if they talk about um, things like it's hard to find jobs here or, you know, there is no progress here in the Philippines. Those are kind of words you have to watch out for because then that means their motive of talking to you yeah is ulterior if that makes any sense and, Bottom, yeah. and get to the point of what you want with them I mean, you don't have to sit there on the coffee date and say i'm never going back to the u.s and i want some nookie tonight that's not how it works <laughs> so we don't mean to be that open with them but i would say sometime in a short period of a few days to a week i would find out now right ask them are you married right. you know you have to get to all those questions who are you married are you yeah, you are know, you, are you married? Are you single? Do you understand that I'm staying are you here? Separate? I don't want any kids. I want seven kids. I mean, it. You gotta let them know because you don't want to be part of the way they want you honesty. Don't, you don't want to drag them around. Um. Yeah. Same thing again. If you say you're not going back to the U.S. or the West or Australia, be aware. I would say again. I hate to say it. Probably ninety percent of them would stop talking to you because. But that's good. That's good. At least you're filtering out the herd so to speak you know what i'm saying oh that's another thing be aware that even if they have partners it doesn't mean that they're not interested in you too okay that's a more complicated issue now again we're now in a times of polyamory which means you can have more than one partner it's not a new thing um it's just more open now so what i'm saying is if you're into that then you're into that. What I'm saying is be aware that Filip some Filipinos do practice polyamory, which means, again, even if they have partners, as long as you're aware of the other partner, it's not cheating because you're like, hey, by the way, you know, hi, you know, Delilah is over there and I'm, I'm going to screw her tonight just so you know. Okay. And then if Heidi says okay, then it's okay. Okay. Again, that's just an example, guys. Kiki in the Philippines, people, subscribers, and crazies. Let's give these guys a thumbs up. Thank you, Kiki. Chosen one. My Filipino has a husband and boyfriend. I'm a third wheel, but we make it work. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's just in time for what I was talking about. Um, I'm so over it. Welcome to Angeles City. And it happens. It's kind of like the U.S. where people are like that, because that does happen, guys. Then... In that case, you know, get with them from the get go and find out, you know, exactly what they're wanting and stuff. That's uh, yeah. Kiki, cho good, good, good God, man, get yourself a decent one. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Victoria. Morning, hiding George and everyone looking good. You too. Oh, thanks. Good Victoria. morning. I didn't expect George to be in here. This one, this is one is kind of off i'm um, trying to put together a presentation that i didn't get done earlier but i think it'll be okay it's on the fleas itself so chosen one i'm surprised people still use dating apps so late. oh my god <sighs> dating apps are the big thing here i'm gonna tell you right now when we did the interview with true all of them and one of them was actually dating they just had an app dating anyway so it is very common the Philippines to me is like I said, like the eighties and nineties and like a circus and a, a fairground all at once, like the way they do the foods and selling stuff on the street. And they've got old culture here and they've got old ways and they definitely like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There's actually dating apps are very common. Love you, baby. The dating apps are very, very common here. Most women that we talk to that are single, all of them say they're on the dating apps. I want to mention in between, because we are so expat help, you guys can send us your questions while we're live. We'll answer them. Um, that right now, going into a side topic, they plan to take some of these apps away from the people that don't do their registration. The government extended the SIM registration or whatever the phone companies. SIM registration has been extended another 90 days. Why? They thought it was because people didn't have the IDs, which is part of the problem. The other one is they're just procrastinating. 
the Filipinos are on so much of an island time, correct, George? So much island time, they're kind of not registering, and the expats too. So they're on. No, no, no. Oh, okay. So I was wondering what you're. Oh, um, so, so much on island time. So they plan to cut possibly the Facebook and TikTok off. You cut Facebook and TikTok off here like they do in China. And the Filipinos are going to swim to Guam. Right. Right. So it's, it's not even a joke. That is true. They really love their TikTok, Facebook. I don't think there's a guy out here who won't disagree. Wait, wait, wait. They're on Facebook too. Yes, that's their talk oh, right no, now. No, if they're not, no, definitely register. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Facebook. Yeah. They would rather lose TikTok over Facebook. But even women in their 30s and 40s, you'll see them constantly doing the TikTok dances on Facebook. And I told George, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with jealousy or whatever. You just, even George, he likes the ladies. Don't you? I mean, doesn't it kind of, you're like another TikTok dancer on Facebook? Well, okay. They transfer their videos over. I can't, I can't dance, okay? But I did go to school. But even the girls on Walking Street are like... Tick, TikTok dancing <laughs> is not dancing. dancing. It's not. I don't care how well put together of a, a, a situation. It's not break dancing like they did in the 80s where they put full dance oh into... Oh, my gosh, the flair. Oh, my God. You know... When Let's I was in it. high school and when I was in middle school, we used to break those boxes down and we were dancing. That's the, the way break dancing yeah. went. That's real dancing. And even back then, our grandparents would be like, uh, that's not dancing. Ice, ice, baby. Da -ba -da -da -da. Ice, ice. No, George. So, but anyways, you cut off their Facebook and TikTok and they'll register. And I don't know why that's such a big push, but... Yes, dating apps are actually in. I'm going to put this other one up. So have you up the, the one? Um, I've loaded no, what the one. What do you do with my coffee? <laughs> oh, thanks, there. Um, Which one? I've load. You need to load. There's that one. Yeah, yeah, so, and I'm getting ready to put the other one up on the, the fleas because okay, we'll get so into the bugs later. I'm Well, no, not right now. We're okay. still, I'd go through an answer, baby. All right. Um, um, but again, remember... Dating apps again, just just be aware of what you're gonna get into. Um, I'm not saying no to it. I'm not because I met a lot of people with dating apps and mm -hmm. on and off again, I met people. Um and I hate to say this, the best people I've met, I've met in person. Yeah. The ones on the apps like me, babe. Even when I meet them, it's kind of like mm, I don't know. Bottom line, just like me, babe. Like you, we met in person. <laughs> I remember. And then our first date, George, uh, super romantic. He rode up on his oversized motorcycle that was like fifty times bigger than you, and he was dressed up in a suit. And was, we went in, in and I was like, "Oh, cool!" Because I just rolled up in my rogue and everything, and I seen him coming in because I didn't want to go in the restaurant without him. We walked in together and you'd already set up the, the flowers and teddy bear and cookies. baked cookies. George cookies. baked cookies. I was like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. If, if you can cook, cook for your lady. Trust me. George cooks. I used to cook a lot for you, actually. I know. You're too busy for that now. Yeah. We got to go out today for cat food and stuff. We're yeah, gonna I was on it. my suit. I was on my motorcycle. And on the way there... A cop pulled up behind me and then shone their spotlight on me and pulled me over. And then uh, when I got off the motorcycle, it was my cop friend. He's like, where are you going, George? <laughs> and I said, oh, I'm going on a date. He says, good luck, man. You look good. And then I went on and then that's when I met you. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's the uh, guy who gave the uh, computer to before he left and my skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer oh. Wilson in the house. Hello, Hi. Heidi and George. Break dancing in 2024 Paris Olympics. There it is. There yeah, it is. my grandparents said that was the most ridiculous dance ever. You know, that was that generation. And I guess now that I'm a grandmother, we're grandparents. When you think about TikTok, now you're like, that wasn't dancing. Now watch. In another 20 years, uh, there'll be an Olympic dance of that. And there'll be like people in Olympics. It's like, And there's our grand champion, Heidi. There it is. 
be like dancing like she Charlie used to dance Brown. Dance for me a lot when she used to love me. Charlie Brown, really? I'm doing a TikTok Charlie Brown dance. I'm practicing for the Olympics of 20, 2040. They don't call it break dancing anymore, guys. Just right now, they call it now pop lock. Okay. <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> right. Oh, Sarah says, we need bugs <laughs> in Florida. I can play. Oh, my God. It's uh. Well, the bugs here are kind of, they're the same but different. I guess we can get into that. So here's the deal. The heat has started up. My rashes and George's rashes and bumps are starting up. George's got bumps all over. Uh, right now, what we deal with in our household, thank God, I'll actually say thank God it's only a few things. Flea bites, which commonly doesn't bite anybody. Um, but I'll go down the list here real quick. Commonly will be allergy-like, prickly heat, um, eczema, psoriasis, contact dermatitis. So contact dermatitis, for those that don't know, is things like you touch something that's made of nickel, you break out. You touch a countertop that maybe had chemical, you break out. Um, something that you come in contact with that causes a rash could be anything. A paint that you touch it and some of it's actually leaking through some sort of chemical because it's hard telling if there's lead paint around here that could be what's wrong with George. Um, it's the paint paint chips that you were eating the other day. I said, no, George still ate them anyways, but actually I did use to eat paint. <laughs> like I used to eat the icicles and make no, jokes about the whenever icicles. I, paint, I have this bad habit of licking the paintbrush. Oh, well that could be what's actually wrong with you. Yeah. Um, and in saying that commonly pets have their fleas, ticks and mange, which is a mite. And then here, besides the prickly heat fleas mites and bed bugs and head lice get your hands off me i said i didn't say george i said i said lice lice got you turned on dude yes oh my god george likes rashes he's a rash inspector stop you're gonna make me start itching so head lice and i'll repeat that and bed bugs are quite severe and not to scare you all but probably more than I've seen it in any other country. Mexico had their cases and stuff, but um, people usually come here and most end up with rashes in the beginning of somehow, some way. It doesn't always mean an STD, guys. So that's a hold. So get your mind out of the gutter about the bumps and rashes. Had nothing to do with she's not into you because she had something. That's probably what people read the title and she thought. She had bed bugs? Yes. Um, what is that? Kuchinta. Kuchinta, Kuchinta. Kuchinta. It's a little round um, brown circle and puto, which is a little hot cake oh, bread. Well, yeah. Okay. So bread. that's yeah. Well, Kuchinta. Puto. puto, yeah. Uh, what you call me? Puto. And? What's up? It's a puto. Kuchinta. I'm joking, guys, obviously. I'm talking about little bread. Yeah, it is puto. And I remember the first time you said puto, and I said, you do know we just came from Mexico and that doesn't sound good. He's yelling, puto. I said, who's out there calling someone a B-I-T, B -I -T, yeah. right? They go so puto way. All right, George, anyways. Um, so the head lice, you'll see kids actually with their heads shaved. I've seen adults with their heads shaved. Um, and it's very well possible you get onto some of that public transportation. You're going to end up with contact dermatitis. You're going to end up possibly with uh, body lice, head lice, mites, and the animals like right now we're dealing with fleas and some mites. So we give them a monthly pill. Okay. A good monthly flea pill. And they still have all the above and the heat has just brought things on for everybody. It's, it's actually brought it on for everybody. Um, let me see. You have the flea one. I don't see anything prepared. Well, uh, um, we do take cautions. Right um, so, is that what you want? Yeah, I did upload another one. All right, you'll play once I hit open. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm uh, waiting for you. All right. So, the common summer disease here um, is prickly heat. This is what prickly heat looked like. And it's exactly what I had all over my body when I got here, guys. Um, this is commonly what people mistake for mites. And I actually thought the cats was causing it. Scabies. It wasn't. 
No, that's still prickly heat. No, 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 no. Oh, that's, the comparison to that's prickly what they heat. Think it is. They, that's right, what they think scabies it is. or mites or yeah. something, and it actually looks just actually, like a rash. Go back, there's that's probably the one you'll get. Right, and mm -hmm. it looks like. And sometimes when you get a flea bite, it'll kind of break out around it. But we have some photos of that. This is the most common thing that people actually panic on. Okay. Um, and yeah, and I'm going to show you a few of some of the remedies that will help. Um, regardless, I have seen this stuff everywhere. And it, if you guys want to link to it for Lazada, if you're already living here and you're out in the province or somewhere, and it's commonly inside of an actual store. It is sulfur soap. Sulfur soap, you can use it on your pets to wash them up. You can use it on you. Um, and I used to, I told George when I first got here, I was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to use that stuff. It's going to dry me up. It's become our best friend. That's Steve Johnson approved. Hey, Steve. Um, well, he uses the other one too, the, um, the antibacterial. So I would suggest to expats that they also use the antibacterial, and I'll get up here in a second and go show you what that is, but it's an antibacterial and sulfur soap. But this one is dual skin, which has got an antibacterial. Um, I kind of wish they'd make these bigger because you kind of go through more than actually not. Um, after that, you're going to be using hydrocodone, and you can use that on the bites, the rashes. I've got one or two right now that are on me that have actually shown up. And then our trusty Benadryl. I have to, every night since I've been in this country over two years, have taken a Benadryl for something that's itching. I don't know if it's the pets. I don't know. We even have an allergy pill. That's so we sometimes take the daytime allergy pill. Yes, I know it sounds extreme, guys, but don't get here and think you're going to live here and you're not. I would be bringing at least two bottles. This also was bought online, 100 pills. It is Kirkland. You can get these bottles for eight, nine dollars. Where do you think you're going? Where's she? Fire smells of tuna outside. Oh my God, there's tuna in the house. Look at her thinking she's going somewhere. Where are you going, Google Bear? Yeah, she's right here. <laughs> yeah, for those that can't actually see her, it's yeah. like, um, now there are preventatives for some of the stuff we, I didn't get the can to show them the, the, what's it called? The bug spray that we use bygone, bygone but that's okay. Usually we have a can by the door, but this right here neem. is neem oil, which they have mixes online that you can buy. It's probably the best place because they're going to sell a lot more expensive locally, so we had a pre-mixed jug that came that was a couple hundred pesos, which is $5 with delivery, $6. Neem oil can be put on your pets and everywhere. It's for plants. It's for the base of the house. It's one of the more natural ones where you don't sit around smelling chemical all the time. So neem oil, and you can add a few drops of citronella. Um, we clean our countertops. Steve Johnson, Philippine Info Channel mentions to use vinegar. Um, uh, we've tried it. That's another thing. We're dealing with ants right now too. And if an ant bites you, you're still dealing with the same flare up. Do you, did you download the second one of the fleas? Yeah, I was waiting on that. We might as well, unless you want to go through an ants oh, or I, some I people. Didn't see it earlier, but... It's not in uh, there. Not yet. Maybe, okay. Maybe so I would, okay. And then we'll go through and answer some questions. Uh, just stay uh, in a discussion. So, um, the the fleas are going to become the next thing that the pets, even if you don't have pets, they're going to show up. Airbnb, um, outside. Um, yeah, go ahead. I can still talk. I'm talking at the same time. Uh, so there's your flea that looks like he just feasted and everything. Uh, of course, the plague came with the with the whole situation of fleas. There's a bluponic plague. We all know what that did. Um, fleas itself have its own serious issues guys so uh let me find of course fleas do bite humans guys uh what happens when they uh, bite you it hurts like hell um usually it's let's see what is the risk of being bitten by a flea well body heat uh causes it your breathing, your movement, your vibration attack attracts the fleas. 
Uh, most of the time they don't bite George, they're attacking me. And people's carbon dioxide and their CO2 that they put out, they have found that one human versus another is a, a, a bug treat. Me, they love me. I'm going to tell you that all day long. George can contest, contest that. I don't know what she's doing. Um, the cat's trying to get out the window. Um, can contest that they bite me. They only on the cage. Probably for every hundred bites, George gets one in this house or since we've been in Mexico or Florida. Florida reminds me a lot of the Philippines. So it, I didn't really have to get used to a whole lot, but it did actually... Um, chain. So you guys just seen the photos. Um, of course, you you can have an allergic reaction, which can actually cause more of uh, Damn, crickets. Careful, babe. Um, bring the remote with you, being you popped up like that. Be careful because your foot. She just dropped the lamp. All right. So there are remedies like we just showed you. Um, the antihistamines, the hydrocortisone. Uh, you can put ice on there, aloe vera. We have aloe vera plants, so that makes a big difference. Some people um, have the chamomile tea, and you can actually use the tea bag on that. Uh, some people put honey. Some people grind up oatmeal and make it into a colloidal oatmeal powder, make it into a paste, and put it on the flea bites, guys. Um there are some issues with fleas when it comes to additional diseases and in the certain seasons in tropical climates, fleas pass on bacteria. Fleas can sometimes pass on uh, things to your dog or other animals, your cats, especially kittens, and through the bites and scratches can cause that cat scratch fever. And you guys, that could be bad. Cat scratch fever. Cat scratch fever. But it does actually um, come along. So it's not pretty with, let's see, uh, typhus can come along with that. So some, and then the bluehonic plague. That's what I thought was why George was sick this morning. He was like over there. Was you faking, George, just to spend extra time putting cream on the wall? No, I got evil, la, 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 evil, la, 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 la. Oh. Did you really? Oh, my God. George has got... Sorry, guys. George can't join us today because he's got typhus, Ebola, and the plague, bubalonic plague, just to mention. And he was just faking. I really believed you. I'm really hurt about that one. Oh, actually, um, in, in all seriousness, again. Um, Fleas if, and the heat rashes if, yeah. and, and the mites, like like the head lice and mites, is a big deal. Now, here I've seen them sell the lice shampoo in, in bulk. It's They'll sell it online. And will it's, Fibronil work on lice? Probably. I wouldn't be using Fibronil. You can get it for your for the cats. I would be using oh, neem don't, oil. Don't do, do the, oh my gosh. There's that kerosene treatment. Don't do that. Oh my gosh. Remember yeah. Don't that? believe. Yeah. Oh any my of that. gosh. That's old school, but don't do that. Um, but no, again, in all honesty, if you don't have. Pets, oh, Scott, thank you very much. I didn't see that. Thank you so I was, much, Scott. Um, thank you, Scott. You so we much, appreciate bro. you, sweets. And again, like I said. See, my other husband cares. There you go. Um, if you don't have pets and if you can withstand scratch, the, chem the chemical smell, use bygone. Okay? That will pretty much kill anything and everything. If you have babies or pets, it's not no, good. No, no, and you have to. Do it. It's yeah. not like the raid. Pets. This is the stuff they won't no. sell in the U.S. No, this is stronger uh, than raid. Honestly, if you. They're like a couple of Filipinos passed away because of this being sprayed in the room. Like, eh, sell it anyways. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you inhale awesome. it and take a good amount of it, you're. Right, but think about closing up. That's how the FDA work. said no to this. Absolutely no, because it has Cyclone, Flycon, and Bicon in it. And, uh, sir, 19 Filipinos just dropped because of that. And eh, sell it anyways, starting tomorrow. Right. Yeah, she's kidding. But it's basically a low-level <laughs> um, nerve gas that, work, that, again, mostly kills smaller animals. So, But if you have pets, then, again, I, we suggest the need. Yes. Okay. Just remember that. 
I don't think they further down. I'm going to answer Scott, um, one of our members. And thank you guys for being members for oh, those that have joined. Did we try that? What's that? The colloidal? No, no, no. no, no. Hold on, Scott. We're trying something. Chiggers. What? Oh my we, God. Have, we have Chiggers? silver. Oh we do gosh. have the spray. We've sprayed the colloidal silver. They sell for pets here um, as far as, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get Scott on. Well, are you going to let Scott in to come talk? Well, if he wants. But well, if he wants in. We have well, to send him the link. Well, I already have the link. Mm -hmm. Do you want to bring people in? Ask if members want to join. Yeah, of course. Of course. Well, you want, so want to come and join, Scott? You're welcome to join us. Yeah, we will. If the members want to join, if the members want to join, our regular members, we will. I mean, our regular members, we will. YouTube membership, Patreon membership. YouTube membership, Patreon PayPal membership, membership, PayPal membership. So can't come in. Can't come in. Hey, Mark Goldberg. All right. Um, again, thank you so much, Scott. Victoria, the new dance in the Philippines is the Ting Ting. Oh, no. I've been watching the Tongan Filipino Eric and company. <laughs> Mr. Fluffy says, the no rash zone, cornstarch. J&J's, but not the toxic baby powder, powder which has been taken. Starch. Actually, cornstarch, yes, it does work. I remember my mom using cornstarch a lot on me. Beverly sent us cornstarch. Yeah, Beverly sent us cornstarch. Thank you, Beverly. Um, she's out on a cruise right now. Um, chosen one. All this life talks making my head itch and I'm bald, right? No, seriously. I know, I know it does. It does. Mr. Fluffy says J and J is stopping production of talc products this year and switching to cornstarch. Interesting. Yeah, because that's what we have Which here. One is that? It's the cornstarch one. It's hard to see, but it is. Uh, pure cornstarch baby powder. It's hyperallergenic with aloe vera mm, and E. Yeah. Victoria, sulfur pools are good for dermatitis. Yes, they are, but not the boiling ones. <laughs> oh so, my gosh. Sulfur, I think they do total sulfur dips in the United States, if I remember that, guys. There it is, just a little Ted Nugent. Cat scratch fever. Yeah, I know when you said that. Like, Hi, BB. Yeah, exactly. We know you to cause. Look at Bella. Bella, I know, and look at George. I told you to clean underneath that bed. See the Christmas bulbs the cats have been playing with and our charge cords. Hey, BB, I know you caused the plague. You and your greasy generation. Ah, no, she doesn't want to talk. Sarah Tyson, Cat I get scratch. oils, geranium, citronella, tea tree, and food grade mineral oil. Dilute yes. and denatured alcohol spray or put out in diffuser are very effective. Mm -hmm. So the citronella and tea tree for the cats, we've put, we do have a diffuser here. The problem with that is, is yes, that's not so good for the cats. That's funny that you could put diluted citronella, but something about being in the air with the tea tree. I think tea tree was a no for the cats. I'll double check on that one. But yes, that's all good stuff. We said we had one that had like citronella, lemon, uh, lemon kills the fleas and bugs. So, but here you got to be super. I was telling George, we were going to spend all day yesterday, like bleaching the floors, washing the cats and going through and doing everything. Cause the heat is driving them like in big time. The ants too. It looks like the, the name, ants. The name smells like kind of like um, a, a hospital, a dental office, maybe Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah. Scott says, do they? Are there triggers there? No, not that I'm aware of. Are there are a few are other itchy bugs. bugs were, yes, unfortunately, hotels, everything, the heat, the tropical weather brings them in. And unfortunately, there are quite a few people. Um, our boy, which we haven't seen in a long time, says that's why he sprays all of his stuff in what? Remember, he said he cool. dips his clothes. Are you talking about Miyagi? Yes. Remember what did now, he say? Miyagi um he, he takes takes all his clothes because he's a traveler. Mm -hmm. Um actually it, his old name was Miyagi the Bucketless Traveler. Uh -huh. His job requires him to fly all over the world. So he Hard treats his clothes in um anti bacterial, anti mite treatment. He said what it was. I forgot already I forgot what, what it was. It's been a while. But he like puts 
like it, it has to be dipped and treated three times and dried for it to stay. And then he has to do it every few months. And he does that to the backpack he carries and everything, because when you travel to these Asian countries, there's a, you know, it's, you know what? I would be doing that for all countries. I just ain't going to put it down no, no. Again, to being here in Asia. Equal, yes. Right. Because even in the United States, you can go to a high class hotel and check inside the mattress edges and find lice. It's, um, right. it doesn't matter. The bed bugs or the mites are actually could be actually there guys. So it's, um, mm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fluffy says colloidal silver for all sorts of issues in pets and people. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we've used the colloidal, um, the silver spray that we got online. I've sprayed it on some of my open, like where I have like the cancer um, wounds and stuff I've sprayed that have been treated and stuff. Yeah. So Jeffrey Wilson, uh, this is a serious thing. Okay. Have you guys been checked for tick bites since your dog had thousands? Um, we did not. No, we, we, we didn't haven't check had for tick any. Bites. No, we don't have any tick no, bites. No, we know the difference it, between the fleas a, and yeah, the heat when, rash. When a tick bites you, that's a serious thing. Yeah, because as soon as we were out there doing that, immediately I got in the shower, showered with hot water, and immediately did the sulfur soap. And so far, we've been really lucky. And right now, beings we do a monthly flea, and it actually handles everything, including ticks. It keeps... 90 percent off yeah, the animals them, We're, you're never going to defeat it here that's for sure Not completely, but mm -mm. you you could take them to the groomer once a week and the dips and you can only do so much yeah it kind of works because um i was i you know i clean the garage every day and i saw an ant carrying a dead carcass of a flea i mean not a flea of a tick so i it kind of works that's a good sign yeah yeah um chosen one I drink colloidal silver. Surprised you know about that. Yeah, made colloidal some a week silver. Ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is true. Right, right now, this is an um, everybody will see yes. on YouTube. Yes, I've been sneezing a lot lately. He's in our area, Edward and Nita, and Hi, I was just Hi, um, where I think I put out uh, you taking one of the allergy pills every day. Benadryl is good for nighttime to control it. And helps you actually sleep and it controls a lot of my itchies that I have anyways from dry skin and everything. But we take a Claritin like pill in the mornings, kind of dries your mouth out a little bit. But um, I think it's allergy season because you're going to see a lot of vloggers and a lot of people on television and otherwise are in public that are doing this or they're itching or sneezing. We've been sneezing a lot lately, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's something up in there, literally. Uh -huh. Um, our friend south of here says the Taal and my young volcanoes are putting out sulfur in there that messes with my face and peeling and itchy. Yeah, I would get them allergy pills. Um, online through Lazada, make sure it's you know Kirkland brand and from a big store that's legit, like we do. And I both me and George take a Benadryl at night and depending on how bad we do the Claritin in the daytime, we have to. And with our age, if not, we, you know. And some people, when they get out to, if they live out in the, out in the provinces or further out where there's more beach and more trees and everything, you're still going to deal with issues. You're going to be dealing with the other side. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dust fleas. Oh, my gosh. Oh my sand God, fleas. don't forget oh about gosh. sand fleas sand and fleas. dust this. fleas or dust mites are most definitely here because here's the thing. We get about an inch of dust throughout the house weekly, every couple of days. And you can ask George, what happens when I start like wiping the shelves? What happens to the top of my hands? There has to be, and I'm hypersensitive. George, for some reason, George is like tough as nails. I don't know and, what it and is. Honestly, like I said, I think it's because of, again, the, the natural eruption because again, it in a big grand schemes it was recent i mean it was like what, 10 years ago mm -hmm. but the dust again kept killing people like six years up after the explosion yeah that's uh no i think that's what we'll do is if our regular members that join our patreon 
currently will open it up to all levels. Yeah. Oh, did you send them the link? Well, well, hold on a second. I'm, that's what I was going to say is that opened up to all levels that are on Patreon or has joined. And it has to be the monthly membership, not just with people signing up. At this time, we're going to see how that works with people calling in um, and videos. And, you know, like I said, depends on who we want to actually look at. I wouldn't do that. You're making a mess. I know. Yeah, but if that's George's soda it's, it's has froze more, no, over. It's more water. It's just condensation. Okay, well, I wouldn't worry about that, but yeah. Yeah, I know. It, it's silly. But yeah, it will open up for, to our members. And again, we want to hear from you, and I'm pretty sure well, the rest of the class wants to hear from you. Well, here's the thing. I think it'd be best for me to go in to our messenger and they can message us and I can send the link would probably be better. That would probably be the best if they want to, because I've seen we're trying something different. They actually just give a, a but here's the thing I'm going, I can't see the, Oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. I, we were looking so in much. the messenger. Thank you, sweetie. I'm looking for the link now. No, here it is. So message us if you want to be, and that includes you, Scott, or whoever members that we actually have. I mean, Joe's hoping to experience hey. says we got some bed bug bites a few years oh, ago. Oh, that's another real quick. If you guys are members or Patreon mm -hmm. members and you're coming in, remember you have to install StreamYard in order to join. So I believe you can have StreamYard on your phones. They just started that recently or on your laptops or whatever devices you actually have. See, it's not, that's weird. It's not letting you copy it. Well, I think, yeah, it's. We got some bed bugs a few years ago at a place we stayed in Southern Mindanao. Was worried they traveled with us, but apparently the bugs were locked into a lease. <laughs> right? No, no, seriously, that is a very concern that they, you take them with you and you'll never get rid of them. It happens. Yeah. And let me tell you what, my dad in Florida, somehow, some way, he had a couple house guests that were staying there, like random. We're not talking Airbnb. It was actually uh, people that he knew. And anyways, I, I won't say where they're from. He ended up what what he thought because he broke out too. I just think his skin was hypersensitive in the end, but he had to pay somebody to, and it was expensive in Florida, a couple thousand to have him fumigate the entire house several times. Yeah, they fumigate the house with nitrogen. Yeah, mites, mite treatments are not actually, I have to send it to myself because I don't have it on the phone. I'm trying to. Yeah, they freeze them to death. Yeah. Victoria, colloidal silver became popular during the 90s they okay there it is carrie lalon says this promethean promethean spray for clothing and dog bedding is great for mites scabies fatigue fleas and ticks all right so are you seeing this here i don't it? know why it says updated oh so. the, yeah it said well it says 27. okay so we just have to join with that yeah we're trying to um What's that? Reconnect with our YouTube manager. Well, it's just been yeah. a few days scheduling. And Jennifer Wilson, what's the air quality like there? What is, what's the air quality like here? Well, in the beginning, Heidi used to spit a lot more venom about the area and stuff because I was not adjusted at all to the Philippines. I still aren't and still ain't. I know that's bad English, but I'm still adjusting. It's been two years. Air quality some days is at a, I'm trying to do like three or four things during the live day. Um, the air quality, I can actually tell you right now where it is. Uh, some days it says not good at all in this area. So the AQI sometimes is off the charts and compared to other countries, the Philippines um, even in provincial areas can be really off. So unfortunately I cannot say that it's a, in general, 
I know in our area, I can give you an idea what the area, what it's saying it is today. Right. And just so you guys know, when you land here, be aware that depending on your area, the air has a certain smell. Right. Okay. Heat index. Yes, it does. Heat index is very hot. UV index is very extreme. Uh, sweat index, somewhat uncomfortable. That's what the hell? Mosquito index is very moderate. All right. Right now, the air pollution's at 56. Micro dust is PM 2.5. It says it's moderate today. Sometimes that says moderate to high in our area. So it says that it is acceptable right now today. However, the pollutants that might be in the air might be moderate today. So they're just saying that people that have breathing issues, shortness of breath and everything like my lupus and, and autoimmune and all that is. But then again, being in Tampa was probably no better either. So it's not a, you know, with me being always in Tampa, Florida all the time, it wasn't exactly. So, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, again, you, you have to get used to it, honestly. Yeah, that's It takes true. a while. Um, a yep. lot of you will probably be able to smell the the tricycle fumes for the most part. That's the most common smell there is. But I took that over a sewer cell, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, Tyson. I used yes, to be... That's... Oh, no, sorry. I used to use Agrirol, a silver nitrate solution for bronchitis. Instant cure off the market since the 70s. Huh. No, I've never heard of that one. I got to check that one out. Scott in the world says, I believe. Kiki in Jasmine Triola says, lately I've seen so many YouTubers. Okay. Posting videos in slums. It's called slumming. Around the yes. Manila region. What are your thoughts on that? Personally, I find it distasteful. Depending on how it's done, depending on how it's done. We try to ask people. People don't realize how hard it is to vlog. And with me standing out like a sore thumb and then wanting to be like, hey, what's going on? We ask people, hey, do you mind if we, we just don't run up on those guys and say, hey, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. We're usually buying from the people we're interviewing for. We were already there. Um, so we try to talk to the, the people that, that want to actually talk to us. We've had ample opportunity to go into the slum areas here. We don't go into the slum areas and say, Hey, here's, this is what's going on. Unless we're invited and they agree. And we feel it's actually pertaining to what may be going on with our topics or whatever. I, I think it is too. And I think it's dangerous. We've seen a uh, daydream vlog quite some time ago, he went down into very bad areas. We're talking about not even George would go into those areas. Where was that that he went into where he, it wasn't the Aida's, it was the water. No, people. no, it's in Panglao. It's um with the. Um... He went into the slums and then he started talking to some young 18, 19 year old girl. And a lot of people gave him flack for it because they depending were like hooking up done, on like air. Said, and so I don't know. Yeah. It's depending on how it is. Yeah. Mr. Fluffy says, okay, it's like air quality is like living in a coal mine here. Uh, when I was in Angeles, Pumpkin Joe says, the back of my throat was sore from the diesel fumes. Sure it was. I was breathing in. <laughs> wow. What? All right. It could have been barbecue on a stick. I could still smell it from my hotel room. Yeah, no, Angeles City is, it's something you have to get it's, used to. It's, what, what's it like? That's why we want to go a little further maybe out. Maybe Detroit, it, maybe, I'm guessing. Okay, like I said, coming coming in the summer of 2025, George is going to build me a house with his own hands. I want you to arm strong me up a house. I could do that, actually. Okay, um, so. But no, it's kind of probably like downtown Detroit would be probably a good analogy of the smell or... Probably downtown Atlanta, Georgia, where it has the the metro, metropolitan oh. smell of smog, I guess. Remy Smith. With all the bike accidents there, road rush could be hazard too. Yes, it could be. Although I've been asking Heidi, maybe we should get a bike for me. Just for me. I mean a two wheeled one. How come I don't see any of our members that want to that want to 
I'm not going to just send random links and like no, no, you no. want me. Are we supposed to just You're not camming up, guys. You're just going to speak. We can do audio. We, can do we audio. Have, we Okay, so those that you are members on your couch and talk to us. Um Sarah is invited, Mr. Fluffy's invited if I guess a pumpkin Joe whether they want to do video or not, but understand you have to have StreamYard installed because I don't we don't know a way unless we're working on putting an OBS system in, which means we'll have more ability to do more things. But in order to do audio or video with people, um, let's see, we said Sarah, uh, Mark Goldberg, if he's in the house, we'll send you a link. If you guys say, hey, I'll do it in Messenger, I'll send you the link. Um, our plans in the future are just to open up the line to everybody if this works, you know, yeah, the way depends, that it depends on how you guys behave. So if you guys want to join, yeah, George is worried about somebody coming out and like streaking us on air. So other members in the future, you know, we could see about it. It's a, an experience, you know, everybody wants to show you there. Don't, don't, everybody don't wants you. What about Ted? Yeah, or Ted. Um, Pumpkin Joe says, I knew that neighborhoods I didn't belong in the States. I certainly would do it in a foreign country. Slumming walking is not wise. It, it no, it's not. It's not. It really isn't. Um, I'm not saying bad about anybody, but first off, just so you guys know, you can get lost. Literally, you can literally get lost in these areas, and you will have to. You'll have to ask for help to get out. Honestly, um, that's a very common thing. They don't usually show that on part of the YouTubers. No, I'm just checking him out. Is that our regular? No, no. That's why I was looking. If he was our regular, I wouldn't pay attention. Okay, was that his or did he take the entire bag no, and no. walk away? Okay, no, that was his. Um, we have like a trash man that comes by and then a few days they actually skip. Well, Bings, we have our trash cans on the outside like some people do in a lot of these neighborhoods. Um, they'll walk up and we leave bags and they'll just take the whole bag and run, which leaves us, you know, bags aren't cheap in the country, believe it. It's one of those things that people usually don't use. So we end up buying those online too. So several people a day actually rummage through the trash, don't they? It's Maybe. a common, yeah, Maybe. it's a common. And it's not a, always a bad thing. It's how they make their money. They separate the plastic. It's a, it's a Filipino thing. Um, I'm reading Mr. F Is Mr. Fluffy in the house today? Uh, he was. Okay, sure. so he sent us a message. Yeah. I'm reading through it. So now again, I don't recommend slumming. Um, most of the slum areas you'll go into. Again, I'm not um what do you call that? Isolating a particular race, but the most common one would be the Bajau. Now, but the Bajau, for some strange reason, they have an affinity to um bleach their hair with hydrogen peroxide, so they look blonde. So that's how you know they're you're in the Bajau slums or not. Um, if you go into the slums and you see a lot of people with blonde hair, odds are those are Bajau. Now, Bajau people are Muslim. And the reason why I'm saying that is if you're going to offer them food, you have to offer them anything but pork, if that makes any sense. You have to offer them chicken and stuff like that or fish, just so you know, because that's what I usually do. Um, and that's where a lot of people do their slumming as they go into these Bajau areas. Again, there's nothing wrong with these races, but it's not really a good thing to stick a camera when some in somebody's house or and whatever. And this guy didn't ask. He literally right. just went around. You can't just and, walk around with a camera and, I couldn't believe and that. point it into somebody's house. Some Literally was yeah. up, you know, he just, because a lot of the houses were open huts where, it just wasn't it, it to me i'd have been super uncomfortable it would have it just was very right you still have to show some a little bit of respect again so yeah it's uh i sent the link um i'll send it sarah tyson says i want to look like i'm i'm on laugh in the windows but i'm flattered ah so yeah slum touristing is in i don't recommend it um, you odds are if you're getting lost is very high odd if you asking for help is very high again will they help you yes but bottom line just it's not a good thing to put yourself into if that makes any sense okay all right i'm just looking to see 
Heidi's trying to invite some of our members and it's um not as easy as it sounds. Like I said, it'll be uh, probably for a while. It'll actually be um, Victoria. Was that audio. the young Australian guy you're talking to going to the slums? No, somebody else. Actually, yeah, actually, a lot of them are. Um, I don't. But no, it's I not. Don't it was an it's American. Saying, no, it was, yeah, yeah. But it happens a lot. There's a lot that do it, and I don't recommend it. But here's the thing, and it was said well by a new vlogger that just entered the country. You have your cord, so it's possible that's the yeah, it probably is. There's the right up here, babe. Yeah. Um, one second, Po. You have to let them know, or they actually walk away. So, the um, it's up there. Well, babe, be careful with your foot, you're running around. He took a pain pill earlier now, he thinks he's Superman. You know how that actually works. Um, <laughs> there is this one vlogger that just came in and guys i we have a lot of youtube channels we love we we love a whole crap load of them and i like sunshine shoulders and pumpkin joe we watch steve johnson philippine info channel we watch philo in the philippines we watch a whole bunch of one of our favorites is um old dog new tricks and there's a lot of mendumagetti that we watch but the guy said it right. He said that pre-pandemic, there have been X amount of vloggers in the world, and especially here in the Philippines. And now there's a ton of Filipino vloggers and foreigner vloggers, and there's a ton that come on air every day, and they're vlogging, and that's fine. Um, but he says that now in order to stand out, these people are either doing more excessive stuff with their women on camera or they're playing more of the sex card, or they're doing all these things as, as a serious shock value. And they go too far, including this slumming thing. It's not a good idea like it was in Mexico. You can see things can go south really quick, literally. And there's dangers in being in foreign countries that people have to be aware of. And as a vlogger, you don't want to stick out to the appearance of like, we have a ton of equipment, but some of that equipment we don't take out and about because we're trying not to be super flashy. I see vloggers currently that are being super flashy with their equipment. And some of them are vlogging right out front of their house, showing the front of their houses and other places. And then they show like several of them that I know here in Angel City, just drive away, showing their location 100%. And that's fine because we do not try to lead a path up to our door of where we're actually living. And you should do that to protect your family and, you know, where you're living in privacy, because we've had people at the other location that had actually found us just come by and say, hey, this is me. And and it happened to old dog. And he's like, wow, I just realized. And he has moved since. And he doesn't show like where he actually is anymore, because once you become what's considered a public figure, it becomes a danger. But. Um, but when it comes to doing the slum recording and all that, it's just not a good ideal, guys. It just really isn't. I was telling him not a good ideal to show location, all the new vloggers, how much we love the vloggers. But they need to be careful when it actually comes to that. So you're, you're right on that, Victoria. Yeah, some of, the, some of them actually do. So... Let's see who we got in here. So I sent a link to Scott. I believe I sent a link for um, if you want to join. Guys, send us your questions, your comments, suggestions, all of that so we can actually. Oh, permethrin. That's the stuff he soaked it in. Yes. Permethrin or permethrin, permethrin. I'm sending it to somebody else about joining. And I believe that's a one-time link, but I think it might be. It's only for this live. It is for just this live. Okay. It's only for this live. Uh, it might still be early, maybe. Trying to see. But yeah, if you guys aren't signed up for Facebook and you guys aren't signed up for um 
any of our other channels. We have a Instagram, we have a TikTok, any of that guys sign up for that also. While it's still alive. You keep saying that. You keep saying that. No, I mean, just so you guys know again. Um, oh, um, I know it's a little off topic, but yesterday I saw um, I had three F-22 fell, um, raptors fly over our house. Yeah, it was a few days ago. Yeah, yeah three of them. Yeah, right so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's a, that was actually really cool. Really, really cool. Yes, so we know that they're actually around. Mm-hmm. Did we show all of that? Well, I was going to show this. Oh, Perfect. Speak. Okay, now, so so, so you guys know. Jo okay. George is a little fun here. Well, okay, here's the thing. So we were trying to make, you know, what thumbnails else you guys saw Brad Pitt, right? Um, so I'm... Like okay, um, let's let's make a thumbnail, and because we're gonna talk about fleas, so I was like, well, you know what? Here, I'll show you. Now, there's the most common flea would be this one would be your cat flea. It's a little bit longer, okay, and then then your dog flea, okay. Now they look similar, but when you look at a cat flea, it's it doesn't look like it really doesn't look like flea. It looks like a long insect, okay. And that's why a lot of people think that that's not a flea. Well, it is. And the most common flea that will bite you is a cat flea. So I was having AI. All right, AI. I said I want a thumbnail of a flea. Okay. So this is what it came up with. So, you know, here you go. So this is what AI came up with when I put in the, the data of flea or prompt. You guys recognize flea, the guitar player. Of what? I don't know. Red remember. hot chili Red peppers. Red hot chili peppers. Yeah, okay, California. Yeah. Cation. California. Cation. Yeah. So it showed flea. Okay. I said, oh, okay. So it's thinking I want a picture of flea, the guitarist. I said, no, that's not what I want. Maybe I have to be more specific specific so i said ai i want a a cat flea and this is what it showed so there's your cat flea <laughs> thanks george <laughs> and there's your other cat flea getting cuter yeah okay there's your other cat flea that's really weird and the ultimate which is probably closest to what Another cat flea. Thank you, AI, for another vision. I think that one's cute as yeah. uh, cute as a bug. So that's way, what yeah. AI came up with, cat flea. So you can't come up with a flea. It shows up the guitars. I said cat flea. So he generated literally a cat flea. So oh that's a little God. bit of fun for you there. Um, that was actually not intentional. That was actually me seriously trying to generate a thumbnail of a flea. And it failed. So... For what it's worth, AI is still not there yet. That's a good thing for us. So you guys know. <laughs> well, there are other programs that you can use that, you know, cost thousands of dollars. And, of course, we're not going to invest like that. So unless you're going to turn a pumpkin into a king overnight and just purchase it. Right. I'm, I'm referring to you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, welcome. So... Yeah, so um, did you go through and answer? Has that everybody answered? No. All right, we'll go through. And like I said, guys, send your questions. And I'm just looking to see if anybody's chiming Victoria in. says, actually, he asked before entering and was also in. But okay, now, that would be different. And again, as long as it's done within respect, it's okay. And be aware that it doesn't matter how rich or poor a Filipino is. Actually, the richer you are, they are, the odds are of them actually ignoring you. Um, actually, the poorer they are, the more welcoming they are, just so you know. Um, they welcome you into homes. Um, be aware, too, even in the U.S., most of the homeless will welcome you with open arms, too. They, You'd be surprised that, again, poverty actually humbles a person and actually makes them more open, just so you guys know. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Scott says, <laughs> the Raptors fly around here daily. <laughs> right. I think we're talking they about different Raptors. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Victoria says it was Anzac Day here yesterday, lest we forget. Anzac Day. Yes, Saratas, I agree with you. Number three looks like a cat bee. Yes, it's it's very interesting. <laughs> came up with cat bees. Actually, that's we a better fun one. with it all the time. So, like the one, the photo that we put up, I asked for Brad Pitt with a group of women. And I did get that, but I had to put oops across it because sometimes it leaves body parts out and stuff. And it, it's not like intentional. Like there was too much front side of Mr. Pitt there. So I had oops on that one. And the same with the girl. It's like they didn't create the other side of her bikini. I'm like, what the hell? Oh. And so I'm like, I don't know why, you know, it's what I was generating. So. All right. So Scott like, is talking about F-22 Raptors. Um, he says there is a naval air station. Across the river. He got hey, Scott, is it just me or do the F-22s do this weird howl when they fly through the air? They make this. It almost you know, sounded. It almost sounded like a tornado to me. Yeah, like they were in a Ohio. Weird howl. I can't even describe it. A howl is the best way I describe it. Yeah, I was like, oh. Yeah. oh. Okay, they have the whole nine yards. We have F-22s, F-35s, and V-22s. Yes, and um, actually. Speaking of military, um, thank you, Scott, Ooh, or thank you, Ted. <laughs> yeah, Ted, um, thank you for the list of saying where the locations are. Um, it's um, Balabak Island in Palawan Naval Base, Camilo um, Osias, and Santa Ana, Cagayan Province, um, Lao Lo Airport in Cagayan, and Camp Melcor del. A cruise in Gamu, Isabella. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the sailors are on alert right now in Angel City um, area, I guess, wherever they're probably. You said they would be sitting. Oh, they're not in Angel City. Um, they're all in another area. And Massa? No. I guess I shouldn't be giving out so much information. Well, everybody. Knows. Not that, yeah. I mean, not everybody that it wouldn't be, are. but yeah, they're 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 not coming to this actual area. So yeah, they're here at several locations, but no, as far as being. And then I thought there was one here in where Campbell was. I thought they were in Zambala somewhere. Well, yeah, I thought there was. It doesn't mention that. It, it doesn't mention that location. That, that's where uh, the Nimitz was. I don't know where the Nimitz is now, but it was there. Yeah. Yeah. So USS Nimitz aircraft carrier. Um, you know, it always moves around. So it has to. It has yeah. to. Yeah. So. Um, Scott says it has a land based calcul system like an aircraft carrier. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So it's definitely a naval. Wow. And catapult system on land. Yeah, definitely. Guys, send your questions in regards to the topic. I'm looking to see if you guys took the poll and everything. I have to ask you. give me a break. I get so tired of that one. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, Victoria says, actually, that would make sense. Victoria says, if they did a flyover about 11 a.m., which it was about 11 a.m., it may have been a salute flyover to the Anzacs. Okay, then that's exactly what it was. Because it was about that time. Yes. So, yeah. Good job, Victoria. Victoria figured it out. Gotcha. Yeah. Phone's really acting weird. And why would it go straight to the shorts? All right. 58 votes. Uh, all right. 54% their preference. There was a preference... Um, for finding partners, dating apps got 22% of the votes, social media and outings, like social meetings and outings, 54% preferred to do it in person. And then the rest through a family matchup, about 24% was our new, was the poll. So thank you guys for taking the poll. Yes. Well, so for meetings, that's where it's at. Yeah, meeting out and you know, meeting somebody just by being out and about. That that's the old way. You know, I miss the days 
where you didn't have to fill an application and do all the jobs. So in it's not, it's so, I don't know, it's cold as ice, man. I used to, every job that I ever had except for, you know, Home Shopping Network at the television studio where I actually worked, it, I had to go in, do a computer job to pass it, prove my computer skills, and then they would do like a reading apprehensive skill, make sure that you knew what you were doing, and you would sit down with HR in person. But I went there and then had that all done on the same day. All my other jobs that I ever had, you walked in and you talked to him and you got a job like you would do at the movie theater. I walked in when I was a teenager at McDonald's and asked for a job. They gave me an application. May I speak to the manager today? You have to be a go-getter back in the day. You have to be assertive. You have to be assertive. Yeah, and that's assertive. how I got my jobs. Yeah. Remember the VHS dating tapes? George. Okay. Say goodbye to everybody. Are you inviting people to your wedding? Um, it'll be a civil. We're not, I mean, it's going to come down to finances right now because big weddings here cost big money. And so we're not going to be, we haven't put anything final. I think that is still what 90 days away, easy or close to two and a half months. Our current plan is to go down. We'll be doing it at Mavlakot city hall. Um, probably anybody that wants to join, we haven't officially put everything and there are so many beautiful places here in Pamponga. I mean, I'd like to go somewhere like Baraka. I'd like to go somewhere, you know, that's out there on the islands. The one that Calvin's been out on, you know, go somewhere further out, but there are so many nice places here in Pamponga that we could actually show off and spend time. But we definitely have agreed that we need a few days off. Like, I don't think we've had three days off in a row in a long time. I think last year at our birthday, um, what we called our birthday month, we we spent the time, that was the, probably the most time we had since we've been together, you know, like it's not always a vacation. So we haven't put it formally into what we're doing, but I don't know. What do you think? No, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of nice places there, trust me. So we're probably just going to set that up on the 4th of July to be down there at Moblicott City Hall. And if anybody's in town to do that, but we're not going to do like, you know, like get an entire pig and do a full table and, and do no app. We're probably, no we can just order the pig wherever we're going. No, I was going to call it the wedding. There's no lechon. We might, we might consider, they have a lot of these nice like resort homes that you can rent out for 5,000, 10,000 a night that includes a swimming pool. We can always oh, do that. that. Nice. that very nice. So that might be what we do. And then maybe we'll set up like a, a cake and some food and whatever people want to bring. We thought about that too. So that's wrong. Cool side. yeah. We just have to see, but that's, that's kind of where we're at. We're either just going to go and get married and meet with the mayor and record all that up and then go to a location and hang out for two or three days. Or we're just going to, like we just mentioned, not in stone talking to George ain't easy. I've been talking. George just. Did you say something? Pretty much. George is, George is so easy going. I don't get anything out of him as far as plans. Pretty much you you're so agreeable. You just like go with the flow situation. I'm I don't know what we're really going to do. Okay. Or we just won't get married at all. And I'll just forever renew my visa and, and we'll go out at the 36 months and come back in and we'll just go on a vacation every 36 months, probably about the same price. Okay. Or I can just marry somebody else that will pay for everything. Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? So no big plans right now. It's just, I think right now that's how simple we have it is we're just going to, you know, display everything kind of, oh, really? you ain't displaying nothing. Kind of like Roger and Ismi and they had people. That's kind of what we're thinking. It's going to be kind of the same thing. So Scott says it's mainly research and development testing base. Awesome. We're, we're saving right now. So off into his account for YouTube, we're actually saving for, and it kind of depends on what comes up at that time. So maybe we'll do the same thing about, you know, <laughs> George's goals. We'll you put your goals up. I have goals. Yeah. You want the breast implants before then yes. and a Mercedes Benz to drive away yes. in. I identify as a lesbian rooster. And the lesbian rooster, once I identify as a mansion, you can build your mansion by then. There you go. 
Who knows, guys? That's a, off hey, the, off, off the, the beaten, beaten path. path. Hey. Philippine Adventures listening from California. Good Scott morning. Scott says, live stream the wedding. The problem with the live streaming is the internet everywhere in the say, Philippines is bad. We well, would. It's okay as long as we stay off under a roof. Yeah, but it still breaks apart no matter where we're going. So yes, it's kind it's kind of rough. We we'll try as much as we can. Um, but we also don't want to spend the entire time doing all the recordings and not enjoy our wedding time either. That's kind of where we're at is when we were in Mexico, we recorded everything. I mean, we had a camera on constantly everywhere we went in Florida when we started vlogging and it does interrupt couples lives. It really does. There's so much more that we could be showing right now. But as, as Calvin, my boy always says, you got to enjoy life and he doesn't, you know, we just can't, we just can't. And I understand that, you know, we're, we're building a brand. Uh, I'm trying to build George here. He's, he's, he's the face of the, when, when the Captain brand. When Art married us, I did hand a camera to somebody during the wedding to record the occasion. I don't know how they did the footage, but they did this. Like, <laughs> like I swear, like, I have no clue what she did. She was like recording. I don't know if she was like, but that's what it looked like. No, the vlogs take over the fun and it actually has broken me down because even during our birthday month and weekend, and when we were there a few days at Kokomo and on walking street, I just told George, finally, I said, George, I'm, we started to eat at Kokomo's. And I was like, I think you actually said, let's get the camera out or something. And I was like, do we have to record? I was grouchy. I finally just said, do we have to record every single thing? And we're about, Technically, you guys have only seen two years, but we were recording a few months before we even left. And so it just everything we did, we put a lot of expenses into. And a lot of vloggers will say, yes, I've spent a ton of money trying to show things off and I've bought a lot of equipment. And you, you, you just get to some point where you'll find your niche and you'll find what you're like us. We want to do the live so we can do expat help and show you our lives and talk about what's going on in the Philippines. And now we started doing the e-trike out and about and around town and the live. So I think that's, what's going to be our brand is bringing you expat help, bringing you, you know, what's going on with social security and living here in the Philippines, because, you know, that's what I'm on is social security disability. And George's, you know, part is the social media and blogging. He, he does talk to people one-on-one -on -one and helps them with whatever's going on with their YouTube channel. And so we kind of do a, a mix of, you know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we do. But there's just some point where we're definitely going to do something and we really have to think because it just. Um, well, again, like um, like I wanted to record two days ago and we got into a serious discussion about George is like, yeah, but shouldn't we record this part of the house or shouldn't we record this and that? And I'm like, yeah, but that's a little much. And it's it's a lot of decisions. It on, takes over your life, essentially. And again, it like does. I said, like with all due respect to Kulasik, Kulas becoming Filipino, great vlogger. But here's the thing. He does a lot of amazing things, but he vlogs everything. And He had a breakdown. And, and he showed I that on air. Imagine him enjoying anything that he does. because He's at one and a half million subscribers. When we started watching him a couple years ago, I don't think he had more than 200,000, but it was quite impressive. He started going on television and... They recognized him for being in Kyle that Jennerman. area, Kyle Jennerman. Um, and he just became a citizen for the Philippines. I think they've officially put everything in motion that he's been approved. I don't know if he's done a ceremony yet, but it did every single thing in the beginning of his vlogging day and night partying. He, he hung out with, he was the part of the fighter boys. And just about a year ago, Maybe it's been a little bit longer, year and a half ago. Listen abroad. He's one of his friends. He had a total breakdown, and he talked oh, about rich. that. He did talk about that on air, that every part of his life had become, and I think there were personal things going on in his life. Everything became too much, and it can do that. I don't care what vlogger it is, and they're like, well, I've got a life. No, actually, we've seen these other vloggers record every single day, release a video. We used to every single day of video and we were doing the lives. And I just told George, 
we don't allow other people to edit our content because we need to edit. There are people that pay editors. There are people that pay for everything, thumbnails, everything. And they actually, some of them have cameramen that come along with them. And I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that either. Because even if we had a ton of money, we wouldn't get to that part. Maybe down the road when the brand becomes bigger in a couple of years, we might have somebody help us with incoming emails or messages. But right now we do all of that and it does take time. So, you know. Yeah. Victoria says, I think you did the ceremonies. Okay. Yeah. It's been confusing. We I only like catch with channel. with our time that's allotted to us. We try to watch most of the channels, but it's 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 really rough, like time wise. So that's why we try to best when you're doing YouTube channel, which a lot of people want to, or other social media, which a lot of people now these days are in social media. You have to set a schedule. And George looked at me like I was crazy a few months ago, and I said, "But if we don't." We need our people to understand we're on this day and this day and this day. It's kind of like when you guys watch Saturday morning cartoons and certain shows came on on certain days. It has to be set and we have to set times. Although on our official days off, unfortunately, we're still dealing with people calling in and this. And we're not saying not to. We're saying that, you know, we're we still go through and do our comments and we got used to it. It's kind of like, you know, we let's see what's going on in our comments. And George is like, I thought this was our day off. Cause I just said that the other day, didn't I? And it, sometimes misses the trolls. Yeah. Sometimes oh, that I missed the trolls. I said, what happened to my trolls? <laughs> God, nobody's trolling me today. Nobody's. It's, it's funny. We're like, wait a minute. Nobody's trolling us today. It's like, <laughs> It's like, it's like oh, looking for the drama, looking for the drama. Where, where's the drama? Where's it? Where, where, where are my trolls? Troll, wake up. And that's like, <laughs> then I realized there was George. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> I think it's getting time for lunchtime. Ruby says, try looking at Baylor Crezon, a few, a few hours drive from where you live. Change of environment. There you go. That's what we need. And we need the, the total time off right now because it's been almost a year since we've taken a few days and then we have to figure about somebody coming in one of the neighbors and like water i think we can set up enough food and water i'm concerned about the uh, outside pets though because the water does dry up overnight so it's uh i don't know what we can do to keep that much water for two or three days so it's it'd be come on ha <laughs> Geechee Lion Music. Good day, Heidi and George. Hey, hey, hey. how are you doing? Commentary says, when I see you in Angelus, the red horse will be on me. There it is. And the barbecue. Of course, you got to throw in the barbecue there. <laughs> it has to be Lechon. Oh, my God. No, I told George, I said, I'm on a diet. I'm not dead. And Because he was like, what about it's our like, birthday cake? And I'm like, yeah, no. I was like, you know. No, it's not like I'm down to the serious calorie kind of cutting. We're just making better decisions on what we eat. It's making a difference because we were literally drinking our calories and coffee. And we were realizing how much sugar. Oh, tea. Yeah. Oh my God. The bobo teas itself probably had a thousand calories and all of our days worth of sugar in one. And sometimes we were doing two and three of those at, a day. Zero sugar because, because they'll ask you here, what, what level of sugar do you want? You know, 75 percent, right? But the syrup they put 0%, in, even at zero percent, that bubble tea is sweet 40, 60 grams of it sugar. And we'd get one in the morning, we were at the mall, we were getting another one in the evening, we were getting we were just bubbling it up when we first got here. And so, and then we were have we were drinking more than three days worth of sugar and calories just in drinks. So, we had we cut that down, started doing more sugar and water, but on. When we get married, there's going to be cake. There's going to be cake on our birthday. And that'll be the time that we just better choices. So. Commissioner Warrior says, I'm giving Eric and Mercy, oh, a big Aww. Mexican flag for the Drake Hotel. Oh, that's that's very nice. That of you. is really cool. Very, we have not been there and we really need to get yeah, down there here, for again, sure. We don't know who they are. Eric and Mercy is far as poppy. We're, yeah. we're going to get down there. It was oversaturated. So as soon as they open up the restaurant, all the vloggers have been in there. We're just kind of waiting. It's There's no real... What's wrong? I can't see it on my screen what that is. Ice cream cones? Oh, is that what that is? No, it's drinks. It's drinks. There are three Off drinks. He can't, he can't actually... Yeah, see, this is what I see. Can you see that? It's just a, 
gibberish. It's like four squares. Right. But I can yeah. see it um, in looking in here. So we have like one moderator that's George's friends because we don't bring moderators in yet right now. There's kind of a number where we know we'll bring, but he comes in on occasion, but he's been working so much too, your friend. Well, we need to buy him Gushers. No, seriously. He loves Gushers. Yeah. So yeah, he likes Gushers candy. Boba. Oh my God. It's yeah. She sent Boba. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap this up because it's time to, to, I made some soup yesterday and we're going to get, huh? Not yet. Oh, after yeah. I am, I'm going to, after the live, silly, you'll get your lunch. Does it come with fleas? Well, you can have all the flea you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Give Before away, we leave, just away, you guys give know, it away. Yeah, check out. Give it away. Give it away. <laughs> right. Give it away. That's flea. Check yeah. out Off the Beaten Path for check, sure. Yeah, check out Scott, the Scott world in the it. World as I see it. Guys, yeah. when you guys leave, make sure you do a thumbs up. We're trying to get when the more you do a thumbs up and comment, it helps our channel. If you guys want to support our channel more, um, go into the description and sign up for our monthly subscription through um, YouTube. Or also there's Patreon. There's a lot more stuff on Patreon. We plan to add a lot more stuff in there. Uh, maybe we'll give more. Um, we can put you more in your mankini. Oh, my gosh. I don't Thanks, think I, Scott. I don't think we can't even show that. No, you can't. Too much bush and too much button Jimmy going Chris, on. It. That's horrible. Um, I just. But thank you guys for being there. Racer X, thank you. Um, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe and turn on that notification bell, guys. And hey, guys, we tried to offer some of you to come in today to actually talk with us in our life. Thank you, Comanche Warrior, uh, Off the Beaten Path, Scott, Sarah Tyson. Thank you so much. Pumpkin Joe was in the house. Sarah, Carrie, let's see, Chosen One, thank you. Just a Bill, Mr. Fluffy, thank you. Willie Shoemaker, no, Jennifer Jennifer Wilson, Kiki and Jasmine, and, and then Kiki, Kiki the Ruby, Cindy, Cindy G, and Ruby, uh, K Dallas, Ronald H, Just a Bill, Chosen One, yeah. Jennifer Wilson. Oh, Mr. Fluffy says Skadoosh, heading out for a bike adventure in this. Afternoon. I, I keep getting that every time. Moderator already took care of it. But it's yet weird. it doesn't let me release it every time. It's really weird. So um, oh, Remy, so he will. He was he actually's been down since yesterday and was in place, but looks like he's like me. He's going to do his stuff anyways. Guys, thank you for joining us and we will see you guys. We're Wednesday, so our next live's Friday, which is Thursday for the United States. So just look for the notifications. We appreciate you guys being here. God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us. Take care. George, take care of that foot. I'm going to make him go racing for stuff today. Probably. Make you run for the lunch. <laughs>